Let's do it. Welcome, 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 one and all, to Split the Screen episode 36, I want to say. I might be wrong, but I think it might you be... Might the... well be wrong. <laughs> yeah, I'm probably going to be wrong. Uh, I would check, but I'm not checking right at the beginning of the podcast. Welcome, this is Split the Screen, your weekly dose of everything video games and uh i've read that it was voted the greatest uh video games podcast of all time oh where did you where did you read that uh it was um on my twitter (laughs) (laughs) because i posted it (laughs) um but yeah this is uh, a gaming podcast with definitely an lgbtqia plus angle to it um because i do like listening to quite a lot of podcasts and they're just so straight oh (laughs) I mean, some of them are, I like, I love Giant Bomb, you know, it is pretty much mainly <laughs> straight people, but they do have, you know, they do bring up topics and stuff that, uh, you know, you that, will that I appreciate. You will podcasts. <laughs> I did, I did. But I was like, you know, I listened to them and I thought, okay, they've got the knowledge, but they don't have the gainer. The sass. Exactly. That's the word. That's the word I was looking for. <laughs> the filth. <laughs> <laughs> But let's go. We need to go and bring in our guest because she's, uh, as she says in the chat, she's cackling she's in the background. Already giggling. <laughs> Welcome to the one and only Geeky Cassie. <laughs> Sorry. G- <laughs> Hello. How are you doing? Um, that was the best intro to a podcast. Like, <laughs> down with the straights. Yeah. I know I've already like alienated a bunch of people listening. It's great. It's okay. Don't worry. It's They'll not, be fine. It's not for you. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. How are you doing, Cassie? I'm doing really well. I'm actually not doing that well. Can I tell you why? Go on, then. please. Thanks. Okay. All right. So I was talking to this guy. <clears throat> And I think he tried to tender swindle me. Oh. And I'm still going through the process now because I'm really polite and I don't know how to be like, okay, can you please stop talking to me? But he says that he's got diamonds. So instead of me like um, blocking him, I'm now meeting him for coffee tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got diamonds? But... <laughs> will, he, will he give you some diamonds, you know, as like deposit? <laughs> okay well he was going to like tell me more about the business but unfortunately like his friend has some problems because she's got like um her bank account stopped in russia so oh. because she's got all of this stuff like this is where it started to go wrong My God. so i'm hoping that meeting at like other ben tomorrow will like curtail it going too crazy oh. so that's how things are going for me that was what was happening at 7 56 p.m that is Having full Tinder Swindler. This, that is, that is like, it sounds like someone's either watched it and gone, yeah, that's a good idea. I need to I need to do that. Or it's the actual person. Uh, have you seen them? Do they, is it yeah. the same guy? <laughs> <laughs> I, but I, the thing is, is like, I, what if I'm wrong? What if like, they're not doing that? And I'm being really like, but I also don't know if I believe that because, okay, this is too much. Anyway, I'm fine. How are you going? You can, you can share as much as you want. I'm, I'm enjoying yeah. this. I'm really intrigued now. <laughs> we'll need an update in the future. Well, you know? <laughs> yeah, well, it'll be tomorrow, so we'll see what, it, what happens. <laughs> but I'm going to meet Ben tomorrow. So other Ben, ready, set Ben. Better Ben, so we call I'm going to get Better Ben to like come to wherever I am and then just rescue me. And um, the question is, if I need rescuing, why would I go? Content. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> oh, you're gonna stream it? You're gonna get like the camera and you know. <laughs> no, I have it. a dating. Oh, I have a dating thing, um, video thing series. It's really bad. It's awful. Like no one is like viable. Like no one is okay that I've been on dates with. But it's entertaining. So. Oh, that sounds like yeah. Long story short, in like a week's time, we'll be like. Okay, unfortunately, Cassie can't join us again on the podcast because she's currently uh, sanctioned by the UK government yes. for <laughs> dealings in Russia. And... <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be in Russia. Okay, but wish me luck. You're going to be in Russia with all the diamonds. <laughs> um, I'm so sorry. Your question was, we... how am I? I think... <laughs> good. Where can we watch this dating series? Oh, my God. Yes. I... No, I need all the information here. I'm already it's obsessed. Like, oh, it's on YouTube. It's really bad. <laughs> and like, it's got really bad because, oh, wait. 
it's too late he, if he's listening he's listening I was talking to this guy like last week and he was really nice and we're like connecting blah 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 and then like I took a little bit of a time to like respond also don't ask me but my dating profile name is Khaleesi not Cassie anyway <laughs> so he messages me and he's like oh um I found your dating suit <laughs> so he realized that he was potentially gonna be content as well but he's really nice so you know there's that oh, okay that is there's a keeper you know that sounds yeah. uh, uh cool that. yeah okay well we'll see that no, part I mean. anyway yeah uh, does he have <laughs> I hope he's not, i'm not committing to anything um at all because um <clears throat> i don't know <laughs> he's gonna jump into the stream so everything's fine everything's <laughs> cool it's not about you don't worry it's definitely someone else that did the same thing okay it sounds amazing yeah anyway well um but yeah um uh, i'm gonna leave Sorry. ed who is the games journalist i don't even yes. think i've introduced you have i ed who are you you didn't but i mean people oh my god I'm so no that's me that's my that's me being a terrible host <laughs> tops don't host ed what who are you <laughs> tops don't host oh wait <laughs> What? Not this. <laughs> no, it's true. <laughs> I'm literally spend. Oh, no, no, no. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Ed, no, because you? you made me. So you have to continue. <laughs> Who am I? I I'm I'm Ed. I'm here every week. People know that. I'm, I'm tidying up tonight. Let's say. Okay. The, the bedroom. It's not a euphemism. Oh, lovely. <laughs> oh. oh. Now that's staying dirty. <laughs> no one goes there. Um. But yeah. <laughs> I think this is the this is the best start to a podcast we've done. I know <laughs> we can't even start again. We're just oh, in it. No. Oh. Um, oh. Geeky Cassie, tell us yeah. all about you. How geeky oh is God. Cassie? I feel like we. Ha um, I said too much. So, um, how geeky am I? I probably have spent a lot of time campaigning for biker mice for mars to come back i don't understand why more people aren't committed to that um they keep bringing in other things and then giving it really crap animation i am pushing for biker mice biker mice for mars um randomly also babysitters club i feel like if we could get one of them okay. to bring in gaming into it and then like training the kids to be gamers as well i'm willing to take that on yeah. okay Bike, well, can we just go to biker mice from mars that, that is a name so I, good. i've not heard yeah. that name in about 20 years yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Vinny, oh, daddy <laughs> yeah um they it was a very a very erotic show um and it was really good and i don't understand i heard that they did try to bring it back but i don't know what i don't know what happened um i don't really feel like there was a push I think that was probably a show that they could do. They could even make it a game, so we could bring that into it. I was just going to ask, did they ever make a game of that? I don't think they did, because if they did, we'd be playing it. Right? It'd be a very, like, I feel it'd like be it would bigger be... Bigger than a... Fortnite. Oh, no, I um, feel like so, it would Wait be a like... minute. There is a Biker Mice from Mars on the SNES. <gasps> <gasps> and it got 7 out of 10 on Nintendo Life. Released. Oh, first, really? 1st of November, 1994. Oh my god! And it was everything. This... <laughs> Why is this not on Switch Online? It's Konami. I don't know, but I really want it. K Konami is a Konami one as well. Oh, of course it is. Is oh, it a oh, side scrolling oh, beat 'em up? Sorry, can I just read, um, Cassie? I'm glad yeah. you're sitting down for this. The Vinny, apparently mm. his special skill, he has yeah. the firmest grip. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I love this. He was our Viking. That's what Biker was from Mars was. Like, he was amazing. He was flirting with everyone. Um, I'm not going to hold you. I think that Vinny might be the person that was bringing us for everything. So, yes. Uh, Cheers to Vinny. It was Thanks a... for the fam grip. Oh, yeah. It was I've a just reminded myself who Vinny is. And, mm. yeah. Mm. Sexy. I it, see that. It was a racing game, apparently, on the snares. My God, it of... was a racing game. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense. They are biker mice. Yeah. Let me just Google oh Vinny. Yeah. I just Google Vinny and yes. For some reason, I thought it would be like a kind of Hades feel, but that might be the corruption in my soul. I don't know. Um, <laughs> yeah, so that's made me happy. I've already got one happy moment from this. Um, I'm sure there will be many. But I hope this so. Is gonna probably, 
one of my favorite things that I've taken away from this because I'm going to find a way to play it. It's going to clip it. We need to to campaign for Biker Mice from Mars to come to uh, Switch Online. Yes. Oh Mm. my god, you can put it in an emulator and play it. Okay, all right. I I would have your next dream sorted. (laughs) Yeah, Cassie, you tell us the second you've got that sorted and we're going to be there because I want to watch that. (laughs) I feel like we should do it together, honestly, but yeah. (laughs) <laughs> yeah well we're all in the same city now we can all pop round. we can get the I snes know. controllers it's the oh. multiplayer yeah i'm guessing it should be right because it's Let's a see. racing game Price Price Mars game um multiplayer oh my gosh this looks amazing uh multiplayer um apparently well uh keep keep talking ed because i'm wait a minute there was a <laughs> oh, sequel for the playstation 2 oh <gasps> It was what? there was also it also came out it got Eurogamer gave what? it um <laughs> <Ed>. so, <laughs> me Eurogamer awarded it one out of ten. <laughs> How dare they? <laughs> Ed, can you do like a retro? You built us up to tear us <laughs> And IGN gave it a very respectable <laughs> three out of ten. <laughs> It also came out on the Nintendo DS in 2007. So, uh, yeah, there's... Um... Okay, did that do better? Okay, do you know what? I d- actually don't want us to look any further. Yeah. I'm not concerned <laughs> that it's going to be her. <laughs> yeah, we um, No, and by the way, the, the SNES one that got a decent review, to be honest, um, that has multiplayer. So, yeah. Okay, see, all right, so Excellent. we can do this. There we go. Um, you did bring up a good point. Since coming here, have you found, like, any cool gamer places for you to go to? I haven't, no, but I would love to find some. Do you know any? Okay, cool. Yeah, there's like um, there's like a few good board game cafes, but I don't know if there's anything like where you've got... Okay, there's a few places with consoles, like Loading Bar and things like that. So I think that's where we should do our next meet. Yes. yes. Yeah, that would be fun. We should definitely do that. Bring see, And they uh... can do, you can do like recordings and podcasts and stuff. There, oh so. my God, that sounds so cool. We should totally do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But people there are really cool. I sometimes I I feel I, I feel like we're gonna just talk anyway. I forgot that like, we're in a podcast. I'm just talking to you, and I'm like, oh, it's yeah. The best, also, the best kind of chat. All yeah. right, cool. Yeah, then definitely <laughs> that should be a thing because then you can like set it up, and then yeah. you can just invite people there and also accidentally get cocktails. Yeah, I mean, accidentally. Oh, there'll be many accidental yeah. cocktails. Yeah, Good. the end of the Fun podcast will be vision. just yeah. You won't understand what we're saying. <laughs> we're, still, we're still talking about video games. <laughs> What's your it. cocktail of choice? Um. Okay. So, I oh, I hate the fact, but so when I've like when I, okay no because when I'm trying to be like normal or whatever I'm like oh I love like a dark and stormy and I like have dark rum and like ginger ale or ginger beer but when I've got like I don't know, like a too tight bra and a broken shoe. It's definitely a porn star martini because I like the idea of taking a shot, like in a like, oh, like for a second and then slamming it down, like, hello, lads. Yeah, but I, I, I always forget it the next day because I'm like, oh, that was not as classy. Like, you're not Sarah Jessica Parker. But I always think that I am at the time, but it's not, is it really? Oh, <laughs> not the broken shoe. Yeah. Yeah. Just like propping yourself up on the bar. So I don't know. How, yeah, okay, those two. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. Evil word. Um, so in short, to answer that, a Manhattan. Hey. <laughs> no, I don't know what a Manhattan is, but yeah, it felt Just, right. You drink, you know it tastes nice. <laughs> yeah, oh. I don't think I've had one, I think. Oh. But I hear people say that and it sounds really posh. You know how people go wine tasting? Is there a cocktail tasting one where you can just go around and try every single cocktail? And Oh, there must be. And because I, I feel like I've only, I only stick to what I know, which is, a margarita with a salty rim. It has okay, that. Yeah. If it doesn't have a salty rim, it's not a margarita. Oh my god, I'm trying so hard to get Heather in chat has just <laughs> said, wait, you Cassie, shot the prosecco, I pour it in. Sorry? Of course you shot what? the prosecco. Okay, good. Okay. I was like, <laughs> I'm so uncouth. Wait, hold on. I've always been shutting the prosecco. It's like yeah. a double drink. It's a way of scamming the system. You're getting two drinks. <laughs> yeah, you take the drink and then you like also i can't be bothered to carry two drinks back to my yeah. table so like mm. just knock one back and then go yeah. with the other a bit like that like or like you know when you're hungry and then you eat like a packet of crisps whilst your pasta's being cooked that's what the prosecco is for <laughs> so, like you want the drink but you're like okay it's an amuse-bouche to... before yes. the cocktail yes 
Oh, I don't I, know how we got here. <laughs> I, I, I'm just glad we did. Um, because now I'm I've really got an idea. If you want to um, try different cocktails, though, so um, what you can do is, and I think like it sounds like I'm a plug for the lady in the bar, but anyway, so they have like these like mats with all of their drinks on there, like beer beer mats drink mats whatever those are called so what you do is like you turn them over okay this is not what you're meant to do this is what I did with people because I got bored inside that so then you just like hand them out to everyone and you have to like pick one of the drinks from there but before you turn it over you can stick or you can like swap um and Mm. if you get like the wrong one because there's one that's like just a game on there that's got none of the things you have to make have like a concoction that you don't know what it is so but anyway that's a good way to try different cocktails when are we doing it really dangerous (laughs) when are we doing it it. (laughs) (laughs) oh i'm fine just anything but whiskey I can't drink whiskey. Yeah, I know. Do you know what? We're not going through a divorce like right now. <laughs> Why are we drinking whiskey? Yeah. I feel like whiskey's at the point of where like the kids have been taken and like you're <laughs> sitting there crying and you're just like you've thrown a bottle inside the fireplace, but also there's magically a bottle still there. <laughs> like other than that, what are you doing? Exactly. No whiskey's oh. for kind of troubled writers and yes. <laughs> No wow, offense, so I quite like a whiskey sour. So. Uh, <laughs> oh. Does that count? Like, does a whiskey sour count? No. It gets just, the how bitter. do you make whiskey palatable? That's all that is. Yeah, Put it no, in the bin. Isn't, <laughs> yeah, isn't a whiskey sour a bit like an amaretto sour? Yes, which I, yes, it's that's like a, my favourite. Mm, oh, mm. I, I went no? to... Yeah. yeah. That, <laughs> that was university for me, and never again we're not going back to amaretto sour. I love that. <laughs> I went, to, we were at the um, Hilton, very, very posh. And they were like, okay, we'll have a drink in the bar. So I went there and I was like, do you have a Bailey's? And they're like, no. I'm like, okay, well, do you have an Amaretto? And they're like, no. But we do have blah, 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 blah. And I was like, I have no idea what he just said. But, you know, if it's similar to Amaretto or Bailey's, I'll have it. It turns okay. out it was a freaking cognac. And I like took one sip and was like, no. And Why just... is that? That's not the same thing. No, it really <laughs> isn't. Really like, why, why would you say that? To, um, they set you up. <laughs> yeah, they're like, hey, do you, can we have a ticket? Yeah, like in this, going to the cinema and being like, can I have a ticket for Cinderella? No. Uh, do you have a Pixar film? No, but we've got the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Yeah. Would you like that? Yeah. <laughs> like, that is exactly <laughs> the same energy. Really not. <laughs> but it, uh, generally, yeah. I'm afraid we can't be friends anymore. Uh, who says, and gin, uh, gin is fucking gross. It tastes like Christmas trees. Oh, Gemma is correct. Sorry, but gin is really gross. It is awful. It's like, I don't understand. I feel like there was a cult and like everyone decided to get gin. And that also that other orange drink, Aperol Spritz. Oh God, yeah. Oh that's... my God, Aperol I love. Aperol's window What's cleaner. Going on? That's window cleaner. It looks... Wait, hold on. No, sorry, this isn't <laughs> matching the same energy. Hold on. Wait, if you like gin, you'd like Aperol because obviously those, your soul's missing, right? So why would <laughs> you like... <laughs> Gin, but not Aperol. So I, I got into gin when I was when I moved to Barcelona and people were like and I was like I want something that's really cold and really refreshing and gin is incredibly refreshing with lots of ice and when it's so much gin literally by the time you're halfway through a glass especially when they pour it in measures like they do in Spain because in Spain it's kind of like 70% gin 30% tonic oh so it's like right. gin but the you know it's not it doesn't because tonic's vile um but yeah if yeah. you pour a really strong gin and tonic and you're having it outside in the sun with lots of ice, and especially with like some vanilla or some uh, other kind of things in there. It's other really flavors nice. to mask the gin. <laughs> well, no, it, just, yeah. it adds a bit of sweetness, or adds a little bit of flavor. No, the gin, gin is delicious. But Aperol spritz, berries. Yeah, people put berries in. Someone put like a vanilla pod. It was really nice in there. What in the gin? In the gin, so, yeah. Apparently, different gins I've, go for. You have different things in different gins. I've had slow gin at like Christmas. Does that taste? I feel like that's tasty, but that doesn't taste like gin. But do I just not like tonic? And I didn't realize that I don't. Maybe the to- tonic is also the worst thing in a gin and tonic. Yes. But gin and lemonade. That's the thing. I don't weird. mind gin if you mask it with other things in a cocktail. But then it's like, oh. what's the point? Me to try. I think. It. I think it might have been the tonic. I don't know. Um, I, I love just... this is such an educational um, time for me. Thank you know, you. When I lived in Barcelona, I used to take a hip flask of uh, gin and I used to go to the bar <laughs> and be like, can I have a glass of tonic water? No. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. It was so obvious what I was doing. Or they either thought. Oh, I was just... <laughs> wait, 
when did you pull out the gin? At what point did you do it? Well, <laughs> literally, the, there was a fire escape, so I used to go there. And one no. time, one time we were doing, we were pouring it in, to, in the fire escape, and like the bouncer had come over to us, and he'd walked over, saw us doing it, and he was like, uh, in Spanish, he was like, "You can't stand here; it's a fire escape," and then walked off. And I was like, "He doesn't stick yeah. question anything else." I yeah. love that. <laughs> so honestly, it was a dodgy gay bar in barcelona there were worse things there were other things he was turning his uh <laughs> cheek to i'm sure i uh. didn't like Barcelona, but i think it's because i scared myself beforehand um because i read one of those like books that was like if you go there you're definitely going to get robbed no matter what happens you will get robbed everything you can do to be safe and i remember it was my first holiday with like my um ex-boyfriend now and he was like, you've done all kinds of unsafe, random things, but this is the time that you've decided. And he was like, every time, he was like, he couldn't relax because like someone would walk past and I'm like, they're going to rob us. <laughs> they're about to rob us right now. Barcelona's... And that's how I spent the whole trip. Bar you know, honestly, though, you're not wrong. Barcelona is really bad for pickpockets, but like the <clears throat> violent crime is just zero. Like I, yeah. the, you just never see fights. Like I never saw fights, never saw. I don't think I, I don't think I ever saw a fight in Barcelona, and I lived there for six years and never saw a fight. Oh, that's, that's right. Surprising. Well, you're in London yeah. now, so we're gonna fix. <laughs> yeah. That. Oh, I got I got threatened with an umbrella uh, walking out of the cinema. That's true. Somebody pretend what? somebody pretended to hit me with an umbrella in the face, but like pulled back and then yeah. Why? I don't know. Yeah. It's crazy. It was really random, and I nearly turned around and punched them, and then was like. I might get hit myself, so yeah. maybe I shouldn't do yeah, that. Yeah, I'd have run. I'd be running. So <laughs> <laughs> I like the way we're like. So a hate crime happens, me. Um, so yeah. <laughs> yeah, luckily it didn't hit London. me. London, <laughs> I know, but also it's poison, and yes. Maybe he's trying but to say hello. I'm, I'm glad that you're okay, though. Thank you. It was raining, so maybe he was offering me the umbrella. No, absolutely not. Let's not do that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely not. Definitely not. Uh, I was going to say, um, Cassie, like, what can people expect from your stream? But I feel like this is exactly what... Uh, this is an amazing and advert. This is such a good advert. I feel like, um, so just like really PG things and just like <laughs> calmness and... No, I will sleep with someone then. Um, so I just, at the moment, like I'm, I'm getting back to doing streaming because I've been like doing loads of community stuff. So it's good because I miss it like my main thing is um being able to do streaming because I feel like I get like I lose touch with my community if that makes sense and then also because I live by myself and I also like I'm like a cat lady but I don't have any cats and I don't think that we like each other so instead the cats on my wigs so I feel like it's really important for me to like stream um so I've been doing that a lot more and um playing like story games and all the games are coming out now and i'm really stressed out about it oh, God. i don't have time to play all the games that are coming out like tiny tina's coming out um yeah. like ghost wire mm. like for spoken i'm just yeah. like how are we going to do all of the things and then even before that there was like sifu and elden ring and i know we're going to talk about elden ring and i have thoughts and I'm so glad that we can be open because I'm going to accuse you lot of many things, but that oh. will be later. Okay. Colin okay. McCarthy say Ed's a gatekeeper. <laughs> what? Or if you want to be really offensive, call him a gamer. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. So can like, you, somebody was can like, you please expand? Somebody was like, no. gay. someone was like, uh, I can't remember who it was. It might have been Pony or somebody was like, they wrote gamer and then in brackets they were like, slur. <laughs> 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 How dare you call me? <laughs> <laughs> no, because when Twitch did it, they were just like, when Twitch was like, oh the G in LGBT, I was like, do they have nobody there that can looks you? at the tweet? <laughs> like everyone else in there was just like, don't do it. <laughs> oh. I mean, apart from Games Mistress, you're fine. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is not um this play is not about you, I promise. Your name is fine. Not a gamer. Um, Twitch now. <laughs> Somebody did edit that video and didn't think, mm, this is good, this is good. Yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. Constantly, though. We love that <laughs> for them. <laughs> so, yeah, more than one person definitely saw that. Yeah, each time they do something, more than one person has. Sometimes, do you think that these brands, when they do these things, that they know it and that they do it for their engagement? Or do you think everyone thinks it's a really good idea until it happens and they're like, no? Or do you think someone's like, 
they do not pay me enough for this fucking job. So I'm just going to let them do whatever they're going to do and then just watch it first. I, get, I also get the idea that maybe the person that wrote it or that came up with it is way too powerful and nobody else would say no and they've just kind of I... pushed it through. Yeah. And then they just let them get like whatever and they're like, well, you sometimes you've got to learn the hard way. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. I get that. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> um, Cassie as well you mentioned community there and you are also one of the uh, co-founders of Black Twitch UK yeah, uh, yeah. which yeah. is a very cool stream team tell yeah. us about the team and how we can support you okay so um, this year I want to do I think I'm happy because um, there's more of the team coming to focus sometimes it can be a bit like um, the Danny and Cash show because obviously when we like um, founded the team um, we kind of wanted to like push things there and kind of use our platform to that. So now we're at the point where like um, BTK's like partnered on like Twitch. Um, we've got amazing creators and now we have like a stream team as well. Um, and I think like without being like braggy and stuff, they are some of the best people in the, um, the community and in the UK, I think. And I'm really excited for more people to see more of them. So just kind of like engaging them. Um, our thing has always been about um, pushing for inclusivity rather than exclusivity. So it's not like, it's just like, hey, here's um, like streamers so that you can like support them, support their content, like speak about them, love them out loud. Um, yeah, and I don't know, even like, I know, <laughs> I know you'll probably be like, oh no, stop it. But like um, our first like proper conversation with you was really amazing because it was like not as part of something, but like speaking to us one as individuals, but also seeing like how we were as a platform. So I would like more people to do that. Um, that was really special. And I think kind of like kickstart and like put a lot of motivation as well into some of the creators. So yeah, <laughs> awesome. um, that's how people can support. I guess just I am not a reflection of them, by the way. A lot of them are like, they are a lot better. They're really professional. <laughs> I can't help you so much. <laughs> um, yeah, I guess just for context, I, I spoke with Cassie um, and, uh, and Danny uh, last year about um, Black History Month and, uh, yeah. and the team, and, uh, uh, which was a great conversation. And I'm, I'm really happy that that helped in some way. Um, yeah, he slagged everyone off, by the way. Just <laughs> Never. Literally everyone. Never. <laughs> um, and uh, Gemma's put all the links in the chat there. So please yeah, go, please go click and follow. Um, and I see Ebonix is in the chat as well. Hi. Hey. <laughs> Look at that beautiful Hi. badge. Oh my gosh, that badge. Isn't it so shiny? Oh, it really is. <laughs> It puts a B in LGBT. Okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's carry on. <laughs> um, so before we talk about what we've been playing recently, um, we have a quick question we ask everyone, which is, what is your favourite ever game? Oh, my God. Um, <clears throat> I want to... I think it's going to be Zelda... And I'm torn between Ocarina of Time and Link to the Past. Taste. You, Love it yeah, when we get you've just got taste on this podcast. I mean, Ed was a fan before, but now you've just kind of. Oh, don't uh, yeah, no, because it was because I think it was the first time that I played. Like, can I just tell you, like, um, but then also that's going to link into some things about the theories that I have of the people that play Elden Rings. But we'll come back to it. Okay, okay. Uh, Link. <laughs> oh my god we're so bad that's awesome okay all right so um it was the first time like I played a game properly by myself um because I played like games like GoldenEye with my brother and like Castlevania and like things that I thought I was playing but I didn't realize that him and his friends had unplugged the controller and I'm the older sister but anyway so like it was something that was just like that was like a like a story but also like made you think and yeah so I and I literally have an ocarina behind me I hope I'm saying it right I don't know anyway so I just don't know which one that I prefer more if it's between them but yes I would say like Zelda um my favorite of all time um that's why I was a little bit like thrown off with Breath of the Wild because I've always loved like um the whole kind of like it's not necessarily an open world. There's like focus and you're going to things as that. So 
I, it, I I had to like adjust with it but I've loved every single one of the Zelda games like everyone's been like oh no this one's awful but I've still loved them in their each way so yes I'd say that even Skyward Sword oh my god why does everyone hate Skyward Sword oh my god because it was shit Cassie oh my god <laughs> First of all, why do you sound like my mum talking about? <laughs> I'm disappointed in you. Okay, all right. It, okay, so it wasn't like okay, it wasn't okay. The thing is, is that I had like the controllers, and I'd be sitting there like throwing my arms up in the air, and I'd be like, "Oh my gosh, this is really unique." It's not the. It wasn't the prettiest sister, but its shoes were nice. Okay. <laughs> so if you're a big fan of Zelda, we're gonna. I'm gonna. Add another bit of a segue. Are you interested in tunic? What what's that? <gasps> oh well, sh- should we mo- should we move into the games that we've been playing? Let's. Oh my god, yes, please. Yes. Games okay. we've been playing. I love games the way we've been playing. Been playing. One day we'll be able to afford uh, like a proper kind of musical intro to our different uh, segments. Games we've been playing. Ed's a singer. You can sing. I'll play no. the ukulele. Um, <laughs> Don't you dare. Yes, <laughs> oh, oh, by the way, I've just started my new job this week and somebody was like, oh, we every now and again, we go to the open mic night around the corner and uh, like Jeff brings his ukulele. <laughs> oh my God. Did you not watch Love is Blind? <laughs> no, I, well, I was. I did. He okay, did we'll come well. back to that. He afterwards. forced me to watch an episode and I wanted, I, I just got my phone out. Oh my out. God, please. <laughs> I just like, if okay we'll come back to it so like we focus on this but please ukulele watch fiance my fiance the buckle okay all right cool all right i'm intrigued yes. i like i love the ukulele i know exactly seen... what you're talking about and it's literally the worst thing i've seen that entire season was just yeah yeah oh it was okay i really want to yeah i do want to know about tunic but can i just quickly just say of course isn't it the worst when like you date it when you date someone that like can sort of sing but not fully sing especially when they have to do their own songs yeah and then like I can do an instrument and then you have to sit there with like this really shit smile like usually it's after you've done the deed so you're over them already and like the post not clarity is setting in and then they're just like sitting there with like some kind of love juice dripping off them and they're like oh here here's my like mixtape and then it's all about like how they almost escaped prison but they're like from Chelsea and it's like I would like to leave and end it and I feel like everyone that's a musician does this and i need them to stop because that is also a hate crime <laughs> <laughs> all right can you say, so well, tunic sounds well, good can, I can I, away. oh my god oh, you just remind yeah. me of one person when i um <laughs> one person i you know came around to the house it was a while uh-huh. ago mm-hmm. um a friend and before you know anything happened they were like uh-huh. i i want to see what you think of my poetry oh no no oh did you send no. them out? Uh, no. We didn't do anything. Oh, Good. no, no, no. Wait, did you have to hear it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> it, it crawled back up inside me, I've got to say. It was, there's no bigger turn-off <laughs> than somebody reading their own poetry. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'm literally in pain for you. <laughs> it was terrible. It was, Can you remember We're so proud of you being here today. <laughs> I can't, but it wasn't even... Yeah, it, it it was just atrocious, and it oh, was no. it didn't it didn't even rhyme. I'm sorry, but all poetry what? has to rhyme. I support this. I don't know. It's just why people decide to remix it and they don't. It has to rhyme. Yeah. But I, you're a brave person, and thank you for being here to tell your story. No problem. Yeah. All good poetry <laughs> begins with "There was an old man from." <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Rhyming. I'm, okay. Good no, old, but yeah, the gold right. limerick. <laughs> <laughs> Happy St. Patrick's Day, everyone. Um, topical, very topical. Yeah. <laughs> so, Tunic, Ed, you've been playing Tunic. I have. I <laughs> played Tunic on stream last night. Um, it's a game that's been sort of coming for quite a few years now. Um, mm. Has been on on the radar. Um, it's this little indie game about a cute little fox. Um, right, this is a gaming podcast um, <laughs> about a cute little fox, um, and it is it's heavily inspired by Zelda, but also the Souls games. So really? if Elden Ring is like Souls meets Breath of the Wild, then okay. Tunic is like Souls meets Link's Awakening. 
So oh. you literally awaken on a beach and you've got to go and like find your sword and shield. And there's kind of like little dungeon areas, but it, you're this adorable fox. It has the cutest style, amazing oh, music, okay. but sort of soulsy in, in the combat. Okay. Um, it's a lot more difficult than you might expect. It looks really cutesy and cartoony, and it's actually quite hard. Yeah, you died um, loads. It was hilarious. I did not die loads. Thank you very much. I was lying on the bed, and I, I wasn't even watching. I was just every few minutes, I could hear, oh, God, oh, <laughs> I've lost all this. I've lost them all now. Oh, but, look, I did scream oh. once when I died against a boss, when <laughs> literally they had the tiniest bit of health left, and I died. But I think I must have hit them at the same time, because I went back, and the boss was dead. So oh, we killed each other at the same time. Mm-hmm. That's so um, frustrating. Yeah, I'm just also, like it came out yesterday. It came out yesterday, and it was surprise launched on Game Pass. So if you have Game Pass, it's free. Oh, that um, is so good. It looks pretty. Genuinely amazing. If if um, I'd say it's like this year's uh, Death Door, in that it's mm. the kind of indie game sort of based on Zelda, um, but it's it's genuinely really really good. I cannot recommend it enough. Wow, it got five out of five from Eurogamer. Mm. <laughs> you gave it an essential. Essential? Isn't oh, that like I the best? I love this. It looks mm. like art wise. I mean, for anyone that can't see it, like it looks just exactly like how you described it. It actually does look a little bit like Zelda with um, his outfit. Or it, yeah. yeah. Like he's dressed in green. You're like, okay, yeah. I see what you did there. And he has a little like floppy fringe. <laughs> so cute it's really cute yeah. i also <clears throat> i loved how every time you got something like you got the sword or you got the shield you have to do your little zelda noise okay so that's going on my list thank yeah. you on it honestly i if, if anyone's interested in kind of zelda or zelda style <clears throat> games please go play it there's there's honestly no excuse not to with it on game pass as well do we know how long it is I believe it's around sort of 12-ish hours. See, that's so it's good. not super long either, which is nice. Oh. I like that as well. Yeah. Um, what about, like, just how hard it is? Well, how hard hard. Hard. Tell, mm. what about the accessibility, though? Mm. Oh, yeah, there are there are great accessibility options. Um, so you can change different rumbles and things like that. You can um, turn off the stamina meter. So like okay. in Souls, you have stamina that depletes when you roll. Um, right. and when you block but you can turn that off so that you can actually just play through it without stamina if you want right okay um and there's also a like no death mode so you can just go through it without without dying if you want oh i love that for us just turn it on and don't tell anybody and be like oh, this. No, <laughs> honestly run. i do feel like i should start setting up my streams without people knowing <laughs> and then just be like oh my god this is so hard but it's just not easy because i'm tired of hearing this shit yeah. even if you're in chat right now i'm tired of you lots of shit okay and i mean that <laughs> Just as long as you're having fun, just yes. play games however the hell you want to play it. How will yeah. they know? They'll never know. Yeah, I started yeah. playing um, Stranger of Paradise as well. Like, yeah, I started playing Stranger of Paradise and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to whack that straight and easy. And Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The fun, and also, if it's something has got a good game, um, like a good story, sometimes I want to know the, like, the story of it instead of like spending ages. Because I started playing... Bioshock, and I can't believe it took me so long to play it. Have, because... you, have you finished that now? Because I saw you were playing it. <laughs> okay, well, Sorry, that okay. wasn't a dig. I'm just genuinely interested. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's a sensitive subject. Um, okay, sorry. So, okay, so on Tuesdays, I usually do like story time Tuesdays, and every game either finishes in that one stream or it's in two streams. So I will do like, if it's a really long game, I'll do like one long stream on like the first one and the second. This has been going on for like four or five weeks. I don't know why this okay it's definitely because I treated a lot of it like walking simulator and also because I spent le- my last stream where I said oh I'm gonna finish it each time I've done it I'll be like this is where we finish the game um for three times and it hasn't happened I spent ages like looking around for the password of things and like almost crying like where is it I had it on me the whole time no one helped me <laughs> They said they wanted me to figure it out, even though I'd been sobbing into my keyboard. <laughs> so, um, oh. yeah, that's why it's a bit of a sensitive subject. But with Bioshock, there's a good story. But because it's taken a little bit longer to do it and because of, like, you get into the fights and things, I think sometimes it's harder to keep track on what's happening with the story because there's, like, there's so much, so many gaps um, between each thing. Whereas when you're playing something like, say, 
just anything else that's like maybe the wolf among us or something like which is one of my favorite games it's like the story's there so you don't lose it with everything else we have a so I, I can see why some games would be like slightly go for a bit easier would you have a comment in chat uh from oh uh a gagan a gagan uh, i don't sorry right. if i'm butchering your name who no, says the she way she it. lies she just doesn't listen to us <laughs> And then, yeah, I am Kanika says um, she does not listen to us. <laughs> so what's the next question, guys? <laughs> uh, yeah, well, it's nice that you don't have backseaters. I was playing some Bayonetta and uh, somebody was so frustrated watching me play it because apparently there was some kind of puzzle. It, the puzzles don't make sense in Bayonetta and uh none I of bayonetta, bayonetta. what well, i know but it's so good though I, I, isn't it oh yeah that's that's what's <laughs> great about it but like none of it makes sense i still my favorite moment to play that game was shooting the cherub fountain up the little willy so it explodes <laughs> oh my god yeah that happened no wait hold on no that didn't that did did that happen to you no it's, wait. it's, it's a cut scene why do i i have this memory but I feel like you've unlocked it. But also, I'm aroused by this. Like, no, <laughs> we're not gonna go through. Okay. But yeah, um, <laughs> no, let's shoot it up the yeah, yeah, shoot mm. up the yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. when you said that, I was like, yeah, that happened, and I was like, did that happen or did I just make that up in my head? But obviously, we can't have the same thing made up in our head. So yes, it did happen. You must, good game. It's <laughs> it is a very good game. I'm gonna probably never play it again uh but i did enjoy what i no, i will i'll probably just swap into well i think i already played it on easy because i got stuck for ages i'm gonna stick it in easy go and play through it off stream ahead of Would the new you, one are you gonna do the second one yeah i'll do both of them because i want to play the third one when it comes out so i'll i'll get through it They're just, it's just, oh yeah it's the third one that's coming out isn't it yeah okay it's very and the second very, one is so much better than the first yeah so that's what I've heard. yeah it's bayonetta 2 the one that was on playstation 2 um, no. no, Xbox 360. That's the first one. And then okay. Bayonetta 2 is Switch only. Oh, then I haven't played Bayonetta 2. Oh. Is Bayonetta 2 oh. Switch only? Yeah, Switch only. Are you sure? So I've only played um, a, it on the 360. So that means that I haven't played Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's the first one. Because that was multi-platform. And then I think um, Nintendo bought the rights to publish it. And that's why it's Switch only. Uh, no, I'm afraid it was on Wii U. Fine. It was on Wii U, and then it got ported to the Switch. Don't do this to us. Yeah. Wii U, rest in pieces. Some people, oh, bought, some people <laughs> bought a Wii U, you know. Some people wasted their money. I did. I, I got the the thing, I mentioned this a couple of weeks ago, but I got the the thing where it sent you, like, your, your history of the 3DS and your history of the Wii U, and it was like, Wii U, hours spent playing games, uh, 103. And I was like, I paid the amount of money i paid for that <laughs> for 103 hours yeah literally and how long did you spend playing netflix no i didn't have any netflix but i played a lot of super mario maker i love super mario maker oh super mario maker was so i used to have this gaming cafe and people just came in there just to play it it was really cute actually so good and also i played a fair bit of wind waker but then my uh the you know the giant slab thing died and i was like well i do kind of want to finish it but i'm not paying because at that time they were quite rare so um i wasn't going to pay 60 70 pounds for a wii u pro controller to just mm -mm. finish one game so yeah that needs to come to switch <laughs> it does yeah. it really does it really does um just to let you know bayonetta 2 came to xbox one and ps4 what bayonetta 2 yeah where are you looking at um i'm shook I, it's I, Bayonetta 2 PS4, yeah. Yep, you read that. Right, Bayonetta 2 is no longer a beat. Wait, let me get the thing. <laughs> I had to just double check it because sometimes, like, yeah. I end up, like, being like, oh, let me just click through to this when I'm signing up to a cult and looking at wrong information. <laughs> Should I drop the link in here? Go on, yeah. Please. Please, yeah. It won't time you out. Okay. Uh, Good. Okay. I'm one of those people, yeah. I just let anyone post links. It's uh, really, yeah, you know, living dangerously. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to buy more followers? Yeah, I'd love. We to. should use those. <laughs> yes, money. Um, oh, this is back in twenty two thousand and yeah, it was a while ago. So that's why I feel like maybe I did play it because I was thinking like I have to double check. I feel like this is an April full full strike. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's the first of April. I told you, I always do this. I always <laughs> end up being fooled by these things. What's wrong with me again? I can't. 
I was just reading this like this does not look like a reliable source. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even April the first yet. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and that was 2017's April the first joke, still tricking Excellent. people to this day. <laughs> I'm so rattled. I why? <laughs> Right. I even said it beforehand, but I believe everything, and here we are. Oh. All right. Um, <laughs> ben, why don't you tell us about Stranger of Paradise? Um, you said you you played that this week. I played it for like an hour. I mean, oh. it's not my main game. What did you think What's of it, your, though? Wait. Oh, Stranger of Paradise. Um, Stranger of Paradise is the Final Fantasy kind of... I think it's Final Fantasy 1 kind of... Not a remake, but it's a weird spin-off or it might even be i'm pretty sure the beginning i'm pretty sure that the beginning of stranger paradise is the beginning of final fantasy one because i've just recently played final fantasy one a bit and it's almost identical it's really cool it looks fucking awful like it looks <laughs> really really bad it like the backgrounds and the landscapes or whatever they're called the um yeah the actual the environment the environment thank you, oh, you go. we've got a writer here not an english teacher yeah the environment's are pretty identical in graphics to Final Fantasy XIV, which came out seven years ago. <laughs> many, many years ago. More. Yeah, 2013, I think, was the original release, and then it went and closed and came back. Um, but it looks awful. The actual character models are a lot better than Final Fantasy XIV, but they're still nowhere near kind of a you know a, a modern game. So it looks awful. The the story, I have no idea what's going on yet. Um the voice acting is just hilariously bad. Oh my god! Wait, the, do you not love it? The main. I want to kill chaos. <laughs> the shot in there. What are you doing? Hey, what are you doing? I gotta kill chaos. I'm like, what? that's literally all he says. <laughs> all he oh says. My god. Yeah. Uh, you can remove their shirts, though. I found out, um, oh. and it doesn't take off any of because you start. Suddenly, with... it's a ten out of ten. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I was just uh, playing a game. Uh, and I guess I got um I was playing a game which I can't talk about, but I will do soon. Um, okay. Yeah. I'll be, plug. I'll be streaming it okay. next. In fact, I can talk about it next Thursday because I can stream it next Tuesday. Okay. There might be a clash. But okay. I'm, um, Think. But, yeah. yeah. But there's a game that has a um uh, because it they gave me the code for the deluxe edition. It comes with a like a beach outfit for my characters. <laughs> You love a beach outfit. <laughs> I, I love... Why is this shed? Why is this a thing? You're like, oh, not even the beach outfit again. It's just like a common occurrence. Because every JRPG sells a beach outfit as DLC because <laughs> you know anime boobs. Um, <laughs> but but they're being and, equal and now, so they always with them. no. But now they're now they're very equal, and they offer them for the for the male characters as well. Yay. So um, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, anyway, so that was, yeah, I, the combat, though, is a lot of fun. Um, it seems okay. really complex and detailed. Did you ever play Astral Chain? I'm, no. I get kind of vibes with, like, it's really complex, really interesting, uh, like, combat, but just a really weird story, and it kind of looks a bit ugly. Although Astral Chain at least had a lot of kind of cohesive colors and, you know, and style to Astral it. Astral Chain looked awesome. Yeah, no, that's the same. Still talking about, oh, okay. Yeah, you still mean Stranger Paradise, like yeah, yeah, not the new game. Okay, cool. So I saw someone playing this, and I like they sent me the code early um, to play it. I'm like, this is what I was saying about like struggling to fit in all the games. To like, mm -hmm. you want to like review them all, but also you're like, hi, I need to sleep. Um, <laughs> so um, I got, I was really excited by it. I, I, I was like, oh, this is going to be good, and then like I saw it definitely looks age and age. this is sometimes what happens and I feel like it's the equivalent of every time Nintendo does an announcement like they'll be like hi we're releasing these games and all of them look like they were made in like Dawson's Creek era like I'm like <laughs> what's going on is there anything that's gonna have like something that is not like just pixels running around looking errant um and sometimes I get like you know people like the classic vibe but like this one I was really excited to play it just because I thought it was looked a bit different and you can play with um friends isn't it it's multiplayer right you can yeah yeah um yeah but like I was watching someone play it yesterday and it looked like they were going through hell <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if it's just because of like the fact that it was like um I think they had like poor issues as well but it does look it 
it does look a little bit dated, unfortunately. Mm. But maybe it's one of those ones where you start playing the game and you're like, oh, I love this. I just played the 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 demo and what what just made me laugh is that the opening couple of cutscenes are just so disjointed. Nothing <laughs> oh, makes God. sense. There's no exposition. The editing yeah. is awful. Oh. It's playing like my way and then it suddenly cuts out into something else. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. my way. Sense. And then there's like there's blood and it's dark because I'm a 14 year old with emotions. Can, can we just, can we just talk about awful? And I was <laughs> yeah. thinking, hang on, this this must just be the demo. It's just oh, it's just giving you little snippets at the start of the demo. No, no, I think that's literally the start of the game. Yeah, that is literally the start <laughs> of the game. They literally walk up to oh, each nice. other. Yeah. They're like, oh, no, I've got this flashing beacon. Yeah. I'm here to kill chaos. Let's go. And off they go. No, no. Can, can we talk about how, story? how there's a guy who's got a glowing stone that's dark for some reason, but also glowing brightly as well. And then, the, <laughs> then he walks, then two other people are like, we've both got these stones from somewhere. We need to obviously do something together. And then they like fist bump, a triple fist bump, and then they walk off together. And go to see the, the king. Kill chaos. And then they go oh, see the... no, like Captain Planet. Oh, <laughs> my God. What is it with Cassie and 90s cartoons? I don't understand. I was just <laughs> thinking that. Like, what's going on with me today? Uh, Where am I stuck in? And I just... Help. Okay. <laughs> but it's, um, it does yeah. make sense. But it's just, it's fun to play. I will probably play it for another couple of hours. Um, I was very, it was very kind. Square Enix gave me a key. Um, I can't promise that I'll finish it, um, but I'll I'll put another couple of hours in. The mm. combat is really fun, to be fair. It's kind of soulsy with like fun and fancy jobs and the way you level them up and and stuff. I think actually sounds really cool. So I think combat is fun. Just don't play it for the story. Mm. 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 Yeah, um, play- I kind of got that from the what I saw, but I mean the person I was watching seemed like they were having fun with it, so. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> oh, I don't the, want to call them out. <laughs> the main game I've been playing, and I finished it, and I saw credits, was the incredible Gran Turismo Seven. Mm. <laughs> freaking... Oh my god, Ed, are you okay? No. I talked about this last week. I'm okay. I'm, I'm done with with driving games that make you break. Okay. <laughs> they don't. You can turn on auto braking. They'll have to break around a corner. I'm not interested in oh, that. Oh, yeah. So I've been playing Mario Kart for all this time. And I didn't realise that you were meant to be doing that. And that's why everyone was beating me. You're like meant to be like skidding around the corner and things like well, that. Well, now skidding, I'm I'm into. Breaking, oh, wow. well, so unloyal no. to me, Ed. And I, I thought, <laughs> Ed I thought we were skidder. backing each other. All right. Okay. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what did he just say, Ben? What? should see his underpants. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> it's like Lewis Hamilton's wow. been round in them. <laughs> <laughs> the... I it's wish Lewis Hamilton was in my pants. Like, <laughs> you... I don't feel like that's funny how you said this. Uh, yeah, so Gran Turismo. Uh, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> went to Mario Kart and uh, shit stains in underpants. But... Uh, yeah. It's no great. one leave. We're gonna be better. I uh, promise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. Played. We um, I finished Gran Turismo, and to be honest, the more I played of Gran Turismo, the more I wanted to play Forza, um, because mm. Forza is just more of a fun arcade game. Gran Turismo is great, but like at the heart of it, it is really just simulation. But it's also for people that wank over cars, like, mm. and because it is, it's just a car collecting game. That's the thing. Like, pretty much every single. Um, mission that you get given is to collect three cars and those mm-hmm. cars can be collected by racing but it's all about the cars and then they start talking about the cars and i'm like oh, cool they all feel cars they all feel like the same yeah but there's no okay. it's like cars but without the fun it, it, it'll completely disagree with me this is why you know we have, it's a good podcast we are quite different in some ways mm-hmm. i removed the auto braking and i had more fun i had more oh, fun did you yeah I had more fun because I was when there. You took it, when you took off auto braking. Yeah. When you put it. Oh, okay. So I took off auto braking, so I was kind of in more in control, and the haptic feedback on the uh, PS5 is fantastic. Um, I really like that about that, but I just I think with most racing games, I like for some reason, even if I'm driving straight, I'm like this. I don't know what's <laughs> wrong with me. I just can't do it, which is why I've never been able to land a plane in GTA. But I think like. Um, Forza just looks really beautiful as mm. well. Like it's ridiculously beautiful, and they spent so much time doing stuff with it. So, like, 
that that's got nominated a lot for things in like um I know well I only paid attention to the BAFTA games thing but like that got no nominated for a lot of stuff but I didn't really see much about like I don't know if Gran Turismo at all <laughs> I hate everything racing like absolutely hate it with a passion thank you yeah, no, I'm. I know I'm completely alone when it comes to. Apart from, luckily Heather's in the chat. Can I also say yeah. as well? Um, Lizzie says some of us drive like that IRL too. Um, <laughs> can we just all, and also not you admitting this? Delete that evidence. Well, <laughs> also, Cassie, I'm gonna out Lizzie here. Uh, she drove through a McDonald's drive through the wrong way. <laughs> Lizzie, what? Wait, what? No, no, do you mean? How do you do that? <laughs> oh, Starbucks. Sorry, not I'm literally not laughing at you. I'm laughing with the car. Listen, hold on. Do you mean like where where Lizzie was meant to pick it up? <laughs> no, she went. She went wrong. The one way went through the exit. And can I, was it Liz as well, who also went and drove straight past where she orders, so just got to the window? <laughs> but if you're going the wrong way, does that mean that you're the wrong side of the window? Yes! <laughs> twice, twice. Oh, God. She did it twice! Oh, my God. Oh. Yeah, I got I got a, a um I got a snap from uh from Liz. I think it was I think it was yesterday or the day before saying going through the drive through and I was like, Oh no, is this like a warning or something? Oh no. <laughs> it's like if you haven't I heard like from me, you know what's happened. Quite a <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because it's normally like not the right angle, like going managing to go through the exit of a drive through is quite impressive. Oh, she did it twice. She drove right by the ordering window twice. <laughs> and didn't you end up holding it up because they were like are you gonna order? <laughs> I'm coming to collect my food that I've not ordered. <laughs> Make it for me now. <laughs> I definitely, I blame the streamers as well, Lizzie. <laughs> uh, That's so funny. <laughs> my grandfather walked through a KFC drive through once and they served him. <laughs> Sometimes it's faster. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, well, thanks, Liz, for that. That is, uh, yeah, so there we go. Let's go from Gran Turismo me. to drive. It. There's no drive throughs, unfortunately, in Gran Turismo. <laughs> if only there were. Yeah, we'll we learn how to do it properly. Yeah. <laughs> they do have lessons, and you do need to pass your tests and stuff. And Oh, God. Yeah. What? I did in that, that IRL. In the, in the I don't need to do that in a game. Yeah, they have, like, you get your license, and the licenses have got 10 things that you've got to do as well. Oh, no, absolutely not. And that's yeah. what I mean. Like I, like, I barely care enough about you as it is. So doing that is just gonna get me to like move out can we not <laughs> give me high speed give me loops give me bananas yeah. and shells yeah i that's would much for, yeah in. toxicity that's what i want <laughs> like dangerous yeah. like death with banana or like star running through you and i like a surprise bullet and <laughs> Oh yeah, you get you know, you'll be laughing when I get my Legoland license. I want to go and do that if I can fit in. <laughs> the surprise <bar. laughs> Um Legoland is quite close to me, so if you would like to go, I do um, want to go. It's literally like 10 or 15 minutes from my house. So I'm ready. Let's do it. I said I want to go to Windsor. Oh yeah. It's, uh, Castle and yeah. Legoland. When, no, Windsor's really nice, by the way. Like yeah. it's just like a nice area and there's loads of like good food and like bars and stuff. Oh my god, we need a Twitch. We need a Twitch. Uh like Twitch does Legoland. Twitch does Twi yeah. Yes. I've never been to Legoland because I don't know. I think like it was a place that everyone in the local area, like it was the first job that people had, and there was always like no one lasted there for more than a month, and it was just like <laughs> shouting out all of the local kids and coming in like some factory. But uh and I feel like those places are I'd never really appreciate it. So like it was yeah. it was um Alton Towers, where I lived. Although not many people actually went and worked there, but when you went to Walton Towers, which you did quite often, it's like you know the people there are kind of just there for the summer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <just> there. <laughs> oh yeah. I oh. can't do any of the um Raiders like Raider parks anymore. Those words. Okay. Raider <laughs> skate parks? No. Raider coaster <laughs> parks. Anyway, um theme parks close. There you go. Mainly because like and I I need to commit to doing something with my hair. 
either that or I'm just scared like I'm going to be wearing a really cute wig and then I will be on a YouTube video <laughs> can you just imagine I can't like I don't know how people do that like you see it all the time and I always get furious at them I'll always be like oh my god look at my beautiful sister and then she'll come back down and she's got like I don't know just like civil braids in there and the wig is gone and I'm like but you knew this like there's nothing and then like and then you just like at what point like what do you do that's why I didn't leave my house when it was windy because like what do you do with that do you chase the wig do you just watch it in the air like what like what's the next steps then and, and do you get your hair prepared for it underneath so that like when it comes off that like, it's just like a, it's like a reveal thing. yeah exactly what about or do you just no what about a nice bicycle helmet <laughs> Underneath the wig. Uh, no, not, not underneath. Oh! <laughs> to like strap it on. <laughs> I'm just going to be like, we need to talk about how wigs work. Okay. It's stretch. No. It okay. does stretch. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, on top of it. No. That's not going to work. Do you know how ridiculous you look? I guess you look ridiculous. But honestly, mm. would you chase off the wig or would you just accept it? Oh. I, it depends how much I paid. Yeah. <laughs> That's an expensive wig. I'd be running after that. Yeah. I know, but like, can you imagine every time you get close to pick it up, like it <laughs> would go and you just look like just a fool. Lands in the gutter. A speck. Oh. Oh, a speck. And then when do you put it back on? Do you then directly put it back on? Or do you go to somewhere private holding the wig and then put it on discreetly? Or do you just put it back on in front of everyone straight from the floor with leaves oh. in there? <laughs> I've spent so much time thinking about this. It's really not important. Um, the gaming podcast. Um, so... we, we move on all the time, to be honest. Wow. Yeah, this, yes. this is the this is a new high, though. I've got to say. Oh, I don't. I feel like we've ranted about the wig. Cassie, have, you ever, have, you ever, about the wig. have you ever thought about writing a sitcom? No, you're... because this is real life. Exactly. Isn't it bad when people are like, oh, it's funny. You're like, oh, okay, cool. This is trauma for me. <laughs> Imagine one day my wig is like floating and we're like, oh, why don't we make it a joke? This is real life. And now I'm scared of my wig. Oh, and, wow. the, and the helmet that didn't hold it together. <laughs> that was underneath it. <laughs> the helmet moved to the back, you know, like when you have it too loose. <laughs> My brother did that. Actually, my brother fell off. My brother used to have his uh, helmet and he fell off his bike, but because he put it on so loose, he went back and then he smacked his head and had like an egg oh, <laughs> on no. his forehead. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I feel like he's, he's okay, right? Uh, well. Uh, no, okay, is he okay from the fall? Yeah, yeah he's in... fine. No. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. No, I'm joking. He, he's he's, he's totally fine. Yeah, he's, okay. uh, he's living in uh, Czech Republic at the moment. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, all right. I was going to go into a whole thing about Czech Republic. I quite like it there. I really, I'd like to go. I think, yeah. I think I've got a new housemate moving in who's from there as well. So. Oh, yeah. It's quite nice, actually. I used to watch uh, quite a lot of movies uh, from there. Oh, Very God. Good. Was it like Soup and Breath? And like, oh, my God. When she, will she come back? And it was like dark. <laughs> oh, no. It was um, it was porn. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I knew that's where we were going. I knew that's where I we didn't. were going. <laughs> oh my god, I love you two so much. <laughs> what is How that... did you set me up? <laughs> is it uh, what's the one in oh Czech Hunter? Yeah, you can go that you know the Ed knows, don't you, Ed? I don't know. Yes, you do. Ed. Google it. <laughs> check hunter well, what kind is of it... check are we hunting right now wait hold on <laughs> With this, yeah check is in like the <sighs> republic oh god is this gonna be okay no <laughs> oh hello oh did you see check boys on the side uh... oh okay I thought this was like a common thing <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. mm. Well, I am glad you've uh, enjoyed that. <laughs> so, what, 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 we were talking about Gran Turismo, and now we're on porn. <laughs> I don't know. Again, I don't know how we got here. I, again, I don't know how we got here. Sorry, I just stopped looking. Yeah. Oh. Close window. Anyway, um, 
So, um, Elden Ring. I think we've been... Yes. But, so, by the way, before I finish Gran Turismo, because that's it, I'm finished, um, I might end up playing a little bit, because I didn't try the multiplayer, and I didn't do any more of the music uh, mini-game type things, which I'm going to have a little go on uh, before I probably delete it. But to be honest, it is one of those games that the more I play it, the more I was just craving, cr- really, really <laughs> craving for um, for to play Forza, because it's a much more fun game. And they've got, like, kind of stunts and really cool setup scenarios in that game, which... Gran Turismo does not have any excitement. Mm. Yeah, yeah, that's all that. All right. Um, Ed, have you been playing any Elden Ring? Um, I have a little bit. However, mm. I'm going to put this over to Cassie because I believe okay. Cassie had some questions for us. Mm. On okay. Elden Ring. okay, cool. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. I was, I've remixed the question a little bit. Okay. So... Um, because I thought that perhaps I had to filter. Uh, the way I asked the question was from like kind of more acceptable, but now I can oh, ask no. it how I want. Okay. Like, who, which of the enemies would you fuck? <laughs> Does it have to be an enemy? Are there good people in there? Well, there are like NPCs that you that you meet, like questions. Do they look like? Do they look? Are they like monsters, like massive ones? Look, what I'm getting at is that there's a guy with a wolf head, and I'm down okay. with that. What's his what, name? Yeah, what's his name? I can't remember. Wolf head. Wolf. Elden. Elden Ring Elden. Wolfman. Wolf head. Elden Ring. He literally. Oh yeah, Captain No. Blood. This is a community project, everyone. So you can all search. You don't search check hunters, but you can definitely. Oh. <laughs> the big bear. Oh. I'd... Okay. He's got a big sword. Mm. He's got a big sword, and he whistles at you. Oh. oh. Mm. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna again come back to this. Okay. okay. Mm. Mm. I still feel like. Okay. No. Let's go with enemies. You have to choose the enemies. Mm. Like big bosses that you have to fight. Oh, definitely. Um. The the Black Knight. Okay. He's got. He's got quite a. He rides a horse. Anybody that can ride a horse is instantly sexy. Yeah. Okay. Obviously, because positioning and you know they've got good hip movement. Oh. <laughs> Okay, and he's got like torture guard and mask on. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Mm. I see this. Yeah. Also, um, yeah. What about the I one with also... the? Oh, sorry. Oh, what cool. about the guy with the freaking dragon fist? <laughs> that's. I mean, that's like a bit to too much for me. I would love to know more <laughs> I about mean, him. That's obviously <laughs> not true. <laughs> <laughs> he's Godric. He's called. Not you being exposed. <laughs> Godric. He's called. Uh, but he, I mean, he, yeah, he's definitely not attractive. <laughs> no, he's not. He's got lots of arms. Oh God! He'd be good in an orgy. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he's oh he's so like, oh my God, I'm I'm loved. Okay, yeah, I'm kind of into it. It's a it's a multiple hands, I think. Also, he has some kind of like shaft. He's oh. gripping here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, don't say shafting it. and fisting. Yeah. Yes, exactly. And he's got like how many? Yeah. Margaret's a bit old, isn't he? A little bit. He does have like a little, he does have kind of a togary type kind of, well, it looks like he's wearing curtains. Is he like accidentally sexy like Morgan Freeman? He does have big hairy arms. <laughs> okay. How was Morgan Freeman accidentally sexy? Oh, Mark. Because like sometimes he seems like God, right? <laughs> this is the okay, best so song that. My <laughs> oh. Hmm. No, I mean, surely Ed, don't do this to me. You know what I mean. I do. <laughs> yeah. Oh no, Margaret is horrible. You don't like a big is hairy that arm. Pus on his night fade. Yeah, I'm not here for pus. Yeah, he's got like pustules. Oh, such an ugly word. Okay, I think he's got pustules over his eyes. Oh. Yeah, no. Scabby eyes. Definitely judging you for that. Okay, cool. That was the first one. I mean, I'm also saying this because these are the only two main bosses that I've fought. Okay, cool. (laughs) Well, that's the thing. There's a boss I haven't got to, but he is in the trailer and you do see him at the start. And that's Radan, which is R-A-D-A-H-N. And he's got furry arms, big hands, a lovely mane of red hair and two very big weapons. (laughs) Why does that sound so dirty? Because I made it dirty. Okay, because <laughs> Ed, Ed said it. Yeah. <laughs> and also, he rides a horse. Oh well, oh, I'm, I'm sold. The horse is back. The back in. Yes, he looks a bit like Blanca from Street Fighter. Oh, I see that. Yeah. Mm. Um, 
okay okay so there's basically there's multiple access points on him yeah okay <laughs> he also cool. reminds me a bit of ganon yes yeah, yeah yeah i can see that oh you are such a little heathen because <laughs> is this why you've been playing zelda oh my god i mean <laughs> now i'm <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get to Elden Ring and my theory. Okay, I'm gonna get back into it. Shall I burst your also bubble th- about Morgan Freeman now or later? Okay, I'm scared. I'm like, are you gonna say he's not God? Okay. Um, also, there are the giant pots. I mean, big hole. <gasps> giant pots. Mm. There's a big, big pot with 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 arms. It's just a big hole. What do you mean? Literally a pot. What that you fight? Oh yeah, I saw you fighting that. It was weird. <laughs> with with arms. Yep. Okay. <laughs> like, okay I'm, not, I can... I'm not making this up. There's literally okay, yeah. all right. a big so like, I can <clears> understand. terracotta <throat> pot with do you, arms. Do you know what they're called? Pot boy. That's the name, pot boy. That's the official name, Ben. But sure. Is it, it really? Pot boy. According to it, pot boy. <laughs> okay, so yeah, fuck the pot boy. <laughs> okay, I support that. Good choices. Um, okay. I can't contribute anything because I haven't played the game. Here's my theory about Elden Ring. Okay, so my question is, how? What was the other thing I was going to ask you? Um, what? Okay, is there a direct correlation to Pain Threshold and Love for Elden Ring? Basically, <laughs> are you into the SM of BDSM, um, and is that related to how much you love Elden Ring? Ed. Spank me. <laughs> Understood. Love the game. Okay. Um, <clears throat> well, I'm not very good at the game. Um, mm. And I like to over level. So does that mean I'm the spanker? Mm, it's sounding a bit like it. <laughs> yeah, that makes mm. sense. Okay. So I feel <laughs> like people that are really into Elden Ring like pain. Um, and I think that there's a direct correlation with how much commitment, because the game to me, and this is why I haven't played it yet, I'm genuinely concerned about, like, I like the threat of pain, so <clears throat> a game that makes me think I'm going to die, but I don't actually die. With Elden Ring, you're constantly dying, and you not keep going back for more, and it's like, it's not even it like... it feels so good, Cassie. There you go. There Cass- you go. Cassie, have you seen the modded toy to play Elden Ring with? Oh, God. Why are gamers so dirty? What? <laughs> no. What? What is this? No, I have none of them which, have which partners. Uh, wait, let me find. Uh, El- you know the toy. <sighs> uh, wait, one I second. Think it says the butt plug. Has um, someone played Elden Ring with a butt plug? I have you not seen it? Oh wait, no, I do not. Let me post it. Oh, <laughs> they- no, I do. <laughs> Lizzie. Link in chat. Okay, let me. See. There you go. Elden Ring powered sex toys exist because, of course, they do. So, a butt plug. Io um, has got. Uh, oh, it's an Elden Ring cock ring. Elden cock ring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so shown here. I'm not going to look at that. On, well, actually, you can't see okay, on stream. But... I can watch it. <laughs> but you can you see. You can them. now get good in the butt. Okay, you were doing so well. Basically, All every right. time you get hit in the game, it vibrates. Right. Let me. See. <gasps> no. Yeah. yeah. Oh my so god! The I was worse figuring... you do in the game, the more pleasure you receive. So you were you? That was a theory, but the, here is proof that it actually is true. One plug to rule them all. See, I was going to write about this saying you died, more like you came. But... <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! I just see the vibration. Oh my god! <laughs> He's getting hit by like two of them at the same time. This is so. Oh, this oh, is in the absolutely game? filthy. In the game, he gets hit by two, or <laughs> what video are you watching? <laughs> I'm literally watching what you sent me. Yes, this... back on Check Hunter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're on the wrong one. <laughs> <laughs> Why is that a bookmark, though? Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm. Oh my God. That's. Okay, so the video in that link that you sent um, for the Elden Ring sex toy thing. So he's like, he's getting like hit by like two skeleton things and like the butt plug's just going crazy. Um, One plug to rule them all. (laughs) 
But what I would don't you... know if you can maybe amend the sensitivity because that might be a bit much all at that once. That would be a bit much, and it would you just know. constantly be died. Like maybe I'm... you just need a little bit against the against the smaller enemies, and then when you get to the boss, it's like right oh, now you're gonna get you like know, a scale. Yeah, slammed. that's what we need. Don't give them away these ideas for free. Okay, um, <laughs> I okay, so here's my thing. Um, I don't know how comfortable I'm going to be with anyone playing the game now because all I'm going to think about is that they're definitely butt plugging right now. They're definitely Every streamer plugging. playing Elden Ring yes. Twitch. Every oh single butt plug. Oh. <laughs> so the, the question today that we asked the... That's why it's so popular. Oh. <laughs> yeah. The question that we asked chat, uh, well, we asked the community earlier was like about game franchises. But you know what would okay. be a better question is like, what game would you like to link up? to a sex toy oh my god that is such a good idea Ooh. that is such a good question um <gasps> tetris every time you get a line <gasps> I, mean, I i do get a little excited and, every time although also no because i'm useless at tetris <laughs> you'd be sat there like well this is <laughs> oh my god not like, damn it tetris. i need a line <laughs> why did he come up with that so quickly <laughs> <laughs> he's been thinking about it i know <laughs> That is amazing. <laughs> I'm gonna, um, okay. What about um? Ooh. What about something like subtle, like Among Us? Every time, like you go, mm, no, let's not do that. Um, <laughs> Gran Turismo. I mean... Every time I go a little fast, it gets faster. Oh, so it's just constantly buzzing, and then the faster you go, mm, the yeah. Ooh. But I've then, been... obviously, if you get too distracted, when like. <laughs> distracted <laughs> then you'd go in like to a thing and then it would like slow down you'd accidentally like hit a wall and yeah. then it would stop and then it'd go also what did i say who plays a racing game where you have to break you would not want to break in that would you no no there is no. a there is actually a uh a track that's like along a dam and it's about i don't know how many miles long it is but you'd literally you're not breaking the entire time just going all the way around it yeah yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's a, a bit of a drag race. Oh, you're ring. going all the way around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, got it, got Heather it. says uh, Ben's never owned a car with a loud exhaust. <laughs> well, <laughs> you say that, Heather. I used to drive. My grandparents um, bought a car for a bottle of wine. Uh, that's how cheap, like cheap and shit it was to drive around their farm. And I drove it, and I went over a bump, and the exhaust fell off. And so it was a very loud exhaust. Oh wow. <laughs> I was about to say, it also sounds a bit like when you sit at the back of the bus. Yes. Oh, oh my God. Smelling those fumes. I just want to say, as someone that was exploring her sexuality, the back of the bus was amazing for me. Thank you, 267, for everything you did for me. Oh, God. Same. Yeah. Thanks, Becky. <laughs> <laughs> I explored. I decided not to. <laughs> not for me, babes. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, Oh. The bus was better. Yeah. <laughs> the bus was better. <laughs> oh, literally get off like the bus. Sitting there watching it with one like tear coming down her eye. Oh, okay. Am I a joke to you? <laughs> oh, God. Oh, dear me. <laughs> oh, God. So, um, um, so yeah, a friend. <laughs> No, we didn't finish about Elden Ring. I asked you my like my questions of that, but honestly, like but. I do want to hear about um. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to hear about like aside from like your FM um side of it, like why is Elden Ring so like why is it like everyone's playing it like why is it such a big deal? Um, okay, <clears throat> so you mentioned earlier Breath of the Wild, right? Yeah. Which you, you said you ultimately really enjoyed, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm still playing it now, actually. Okay, yeah. great. Awesome. Yeah. So okay. one of the things that I really loved about Breath of the Wild is that sense of adventure and the, mm. the fact that it's that massive world, but there there aren't icons everywhere and quest logs. I don't think there's a quest log, but it's just exploring and uncovering things because you saw a mountain and thought, I want to go there. And you went there and you found something and you made that story for yourself. Mm -hmm. um, Elden Ring for me is like that because it's just a big open world. You go and explore however you want. But rather than finding like Korok seeds, you find like a horrible boss. Death. Death. <laughs> so it's kind of got that adventure feel, but it's just really like dark and dismal yeah. and like full of death. Okay. 
lovely amazing sounds like daria um oh my god the 90s reference is me it's definitely me daria. i'm the problem no okay so my thing is is that like how hard it is is that part of the enjoyment is that just the satisfaction of being like okay it took me ages to do this and so i've beat it so difficulty is like sexuality and it's yeah, a spectrum. It's a spectrum, of course. I'm um, yeah. Ed's like, for me, it's really easy. You just need to get good. And that's Ed's uh, answer. No, I'm not like that. Um, no, I think, look, there are, there are ways of making it easier. It's definitely a challenging game. And that is part of the satisfaction of like, I've, you know, slammed against this boss a lot of times and then I finally beat it. So... <laughs> um, this is exactly your written review. This is exactly how it should be. Exactly. Um, and so there is a lot of satisfaction in overcoming that. Um, yeah. But if I think for people who might be worried that it's going to be really difficult, there are ways around that. There's like multiplayer summoning people in to help. There are different mm. classes that are and different builds that are easier. You can than summon others. people to help. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. There's so a bit like dark, like with Dark Souls three. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. Cool. Cool. Exactly. So then you can you can you know double fist a, a boss instead. <laughs> Margaret. <laughs> <laughs> No, Margaret. <laughs> uh, we'll come in with the plug. I would have spare. <laughs> okay, amazing. But yeah, you can just sold it to you in any way. <laughs> <laughs> no, the thing is, is that I know that I definitely will play it. Um, it's just one like knowing if I wanted to play it on the stream or not. There's some games that I do like to keep for myself, mainly because like I can I can be frustrated by myself and also enjoy it by myself. Um, and then I think it's quite if you need to focus on it, it can be a bit distracting from playing it on stream. But I just yeah. didn't know how soon I'd play it. Like Sifu was a big one as well, wasn't it? And uh, like that looks really hard. And both of them Sifu's came out at the same time. Don't play it. <laughs> <It's>, uh, <laughs> that's how I, I thought that's what Elden Ring was, Ring was like. It was that no. kind of level. No. Because Elden well, Elden Ring, because it's open world, if you get stuck on something, you can just fuck off somewhere else and go okay. level up and then come back. Yeah. Um, which is much more fun. Yeah. I also found if you go on Google as well, you can find like farming spots so you can kind of over level a little bit and you can find out oh. where to where to get things to kind of level up because leveling up your weapon is really important and you level up with these specific stones. And if you just go on Google and be like, where do I find these stones? It'll tell you where you to go. Do yeah. I mean, that's another, I mean, in terms of whether to play on stream or not, I would say if you do, firstly, I, I feel, I mean, chat, tell me if I'm wrong. I feel like chat will maybe get behind you in terms of trying to beat a boss. And if you're getting stuck, you know, hopefully chat will be there to cheer you on. Maybe yeah. they want to laugh at you, but I'm yeah. sure they'll be there and they'll be entertained. Yeah. Also, I feel like a lot of people are playing it. And so they'll be able to chip in and be like, hey, if you're struggling, why don't you go mm. here? Or have you tried doing this? And it's a game that everyone's talking about. So playing it mm. on stream means people can be part of that be, conversation. Be able to support that, yeah. But what I'd also <clears throat> say on the flip side of that is that because it's a game about adventure and exploring, it's nice to take your time. Mm. And maybe playing it on stream, you kind of feel pressured to like not Finish, play it in yeah. your own time. Yeah. But also yeah. I think with playing it on stream, I, I think it is a really good game to play on stream because there's no story. So you're not trying to... Is but, there no story? Well, not really. <laughs> But kind of, you can focus on chat. You can be chatting about, you know, kind of, you know, dildos, whatever we've been talking about, you butt know, plugs. butt plugs. Never, but yes, yeah, butt course. plugs. Um, yeah, you know, date, exactly. Talk, you know, Russian billionaires. <laughs> whatever you want to <laughs> talk to. Oh my God. <laughs> exactly. And, and, it, and like while you're playing it and you don't really need to be like, okay, like the stories, I need to kind of go to that castle and probably get through to the, you know, get through the castle and kill the boss there. That's mm. as far it's pretty much as far as the story that you really need to know is. So okay. it's a really good game for that. And also people are interested. I think people love, I think at the moment it's also a really good game to stream on Twitch because a lot of people are really interested still in playing yeah. it and seeing how people are doing and where they are <clears throat> in the game. Uh, you might get some yeah. backseaters, but also you can finish the game oh, in, under, in under 30 minutes uh, if you really want to. I saw someone don't, speed don't run. skip to the oh, headlines no. yet, Ben. I, I was, I was <laughs> very there, late. Yeah. I haven't read the headlines. I was rushing. Well, that, was, that was one of them. Sorry. Oh really? Okay. Nobody heard it. I didn't hear anything. Carry no. On. <laughs> no. The last time I saw somebody took three hours to finish it. Three hours? 
Oh, no. This is like, there you go. Yeah, I definitely haven't Kat had any updates. says, I'm still enjoying my time with it, and I'm at hour 95. Wow. Oh, wait. So how time, long Kat. is it meant to be? Or could it just keep going? Well, this, this, is, this is the thing. A bit like Breath of the Wild, there's sort of a core story in inverted commas um to to get through and i think doing that is maybe around 40-ish hours okay. but if you take your time and explore it can be like over 100 yeah okay yeah i know quite a few people have got like 90 100 120 and have been like i loved it <laughs> like i just did all the stuff because i imagine once and you can do a new game plus as well yeah. so i imagine yeah once you get to a really high level you can just go back to the opening area and just go and you know kill all the bosses with a couple of hits Mm. which i do like that idea also there's um yeah i found a farming spot as well and it because there's quite a lot of these chests you'll open them and they'll teleport you somewhere else and that's another mm. cool thing it's an open world but also they're not afraid if you want to just go somewhere else mm. uh, and sometimes they'll do that like there'll be a trick there'll be a like a yeah treasure chest you open it and it zaps you over to the like the Kalid. is it Kalid? the name yep. of it like one of the worst places ever but you can go around and kill a couple of you know, small, uh, small monsters there and you're going to get loads of XP for it. And yeah. And you can fast travel as well. You can just go and choose anywhere you've been. As long as you're outside and not in a dungeon, you can fast travel anywhere. See, I love this. Mm. Also, um, I like the idea of doing it for a little thing. So I spend all of my time doing like farming and like gathering stuff. Mm. Um, so if there's that in there, that's also, literally what I'm doing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Also, <laughs> this game, it's really good and not maybe not so much for the ones for the bosses in dungeons like the side bot dungeons but the main bosses especially and a few of the other ones as side ones as well they have like a save point right next to the entrance so if you die you just go there and then you straight okay, back yeah. in <laughs> that's gonna be my piece <laughs> <laughs> yeah i like i don't mind doing there's a there's like a giant circular kind of area and it teleports you inside oh no it doesn't teleport you inside because it just creates like a weird wall around you but mm. literally it will if you die it just moves you outside it uh because it's one of these little <laughs> things and i killed i spent, i'm so glad because I, I, I feel yeah. like a lot of games don't think of that oh, and you just come back yeah. and you're like oh here i am in my fucking death again yeah miles <laughs> away but like yeah. i don't mind facing a boss 30 times I mean, I'd be frustrated, but 30, 40, 50 times if I just get, if I know I'm making some progress and also I'm kind of just teleported outside, I'll try it again and again and again. Celeste, mm. I played Celeste and I, there were some areas I tried oh 100, God. 200 times, you know, just yeah. to get to one place. And um, the fact it just kind of resets you exactly, you know, instantly back where you were, you can mm. just uh, redo it. And I do not mind that at all. Yeah. Mm. So... Okay, so basically you've put me into the Elden Ring cult and it's I'm going to so have to play this game. Okay. Now. <laughs> and, it, and also, if you are somebody who doesn't, you know, who wants a bit of advice from people who are playing it, people will be very happy to give you it. And yeah. they also understand that there are people who are maybe not Souls veterans and they want to make it a little bit easier. And they'll be like, yeah, that's, uh, for example, like leveling up your character. A lot of the stuff it doesn't explain very well in the game. In fact, it doesn't explain it whatsoever. So mm. going in there, they'd be like, oh, you're so you're a magic person. You're using magic. You need to focus most of your uh, points when you're trying to level up. When you're leveling up, you need to level up your health and your what's it called again, Ed? Endurance. Oh, is it endurance for uh, spells. Oh, no, that's faith. Something. Yeah. Mind. Mind. Yeah. So they'll like give you advice on what to level up if you if you want it. No, so I feel like whenever i play games i'm really stingy with my points like i it's not even that i'm worried about putting them i'm just like oh, i don't want to spend them and like i should be like level 40 but i'll be level 13 because i've hoarded all my points because <laughs> i'm just, like yeah, don't do to that the game right. no we can't do that okay because <laughs> if you if you die you lose it what so if you die you lose your xp um but you can go back to the place where you died and pick them back up what but what if i died like in the middle of like someone like sitting on my face yeah you have I mean, to go right under there <laughs> haven't we all been there 
right? <laughs> We've all been there, you know, dying with someone on my face. Uh. <laughs> no, I'm honestly, wait, hold on. So, oh my God, no, this guy, okay. And see, and this is where we're starting to learn the truth because this is what happens. And I feel like this is the equivalent of telling someone like, oh, it's okay if you like give birth to a child and then you find out like your anus is going to get ripped. Listen, you're telling me that I could like do all of these things <laughs> and then like build up birth? stuff. <laughs> <laughs> just, I don't think does but, childbirth really rip your anus part because that's not your that's not where the child comes from. That, I mean, I, I think, I'm I, not an expert in childbirth. But I'm pretty I just sure. Thought, like there was, it was, I just I think everything, I thought everything kind of just rips. like. Oh, it yeah. does. Oh, it does. Yeah, yeah. Everything. Yeah. Oh, we I, can talk about that. Okay, so I feel like this is a thing where no one tells you the truth, ooh. and this is what you've done with Elden Ring because, like, and now we're starting to find things. Are you are you uncomfortable? I'm very uncomfortable. Do you, can you feel it? Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm I'm a top. I don't like this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not used to having my ass ripped open every Saturday night, no. <laughs> like some. <laughs> don't look at me. I'm not looking at you. I'm literally looking away, but nobody can even see that. <laughs> I'm looking at you. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking, you at, I'm as looking much at as you like, Cassie. I'm looking at J- Games Mistress in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yes, it rips everything open. Lovely. Okay, so that's why I feel like it's the equivalent of that where people don't tell you and then you find out it's like surprise. And I think that's what's going to happen with Elden Ring and that's what I'm afraid of. But I like be happy going in like, oh, this is great and then land on one thing and then I'm completely dead. I watched someone like get through all of this stuff and then they didn't land on like um like a, a thing correctly, like this little bit that they was meant to land in and then they fell to the ground and died. And but, then but you can still collect, yeah. You can still collect your ex, your experience points and stuff from the ledge that you were on before. Yeah. Okay. So you just have to get back to the point that you died, and then you can pick them up. And at that point, yeah. you probably will have even more because because of you know the journey. But if okay. you don't get to that point and die again, then that you've point lost it. You lose yeah. it forever. <gasps> but the thing is, like, okay. it's it's very easy to get them back. Like, it's very easy to kind of get them. And there's also areas where you can farm them a little bit as well. So yeah. I feel. I feel like if I died and lost maybe like 5,000 runes, they're not called souls, the runes, um, okay. I would probably just go to the farming spot and get them back <laughs> and be like, you know what, there we go. <laughs> I'm, and I'm if it. it's out in the world as well, you get a horse to ride. So you can basically just ride the horse, charge in, grab them and charge out again. Yeah. So would you say, is it inaccurate to be like, this is basically Dark Souls 4? Yes. Okay. It's Dark Souls in an open world okay okay but i think yeah being in an open world makes it more approachable and you I can think so too because with dark souls and bloodborne and stuff it was very linear um well maybe not so linear but it's it was kind of restrictive of how of the progression that you were making like mm-hmm. you were you know you had to okay you could do a little bit of grinding to get to whatever the next boss but you're not going to just do the same run 20 times, like no. same little loop 20 times just to kill all the enemies to kind of let over level. That mm. sounds a bit dull. Mm. As, as Gemma said, ride hard, in and out, really fast, get the goods. Or you can take your time and have a good grind. Gemma? <laughs> <sighs> the choice oh, is yours. Lizzie, like a grocery shop. Lizzie's super <laughs> A grocery shop. The rest of you lot, I'm spraying holy water on you. Oh. <laughs> Liz puts the gross in grocery <laughs> shopping. <laughs> oh. oh, very out of ten. Oh. oh my god. So I mean, Cassie went and asked you really, what have you been playing lately? Um <clears throat> so like I said, I've been playing um sorry, I'm like it's still a little bit like uh gross at the moment so sorry if I sound gross um so I've been playing Bioshock um and I've been enjoying that I'm kind of obsessed with Elder Scrolls Online and I feel like I was late to join to late with joining that because I was someone that played well and then I played Final Fantasy but my ex-boyfriend was a demon and I used to play that game with him and I was like I have never played that game again so I think I needed something to fill like that space in and um self-inflicted orgasms wasn't doing that so I thought I'll just go online and it makes me happy so um it's because you didn't have the butt plug that's what no Mm. honestly I didn't and now Elder Scrolls is going to go to a bin now that we have that and Elden Ring so (laughs) I'm a different person (laughs) (laughs) so okay a guardian's upset because I haven't played Elder Scrolls online with her for like a week or two 
but also you know business and stuff so yeah I mean those are the main things that I'm really excited about but I knew that I needed to make time because there's a lot of things that are coming out um like I said Tiny Tina Tiny Tina's Wonderland is coming out yep is that the right yeah so I think I'm going to be playing a lot of that but I don't know how that's going to go because like I always do this with games where I try not to look about the cat too much about them so that when I go in I'm like going in like new and like I'm really excited to play it and then because I haven't looked at it enough <laughs> I'm like okay this is not the gameplay that I thought it was <laughs> <laughs> but I think it might be good and I'm really big on like um games that you can play with other people as well I I'm like someone I, I saw like a tweet about it today that um people are hoping that they can um from the nominations that people um games are picking up that they can see that people want more co-op games that's kind of what I'm into at the moment yes so um yeah like the stuff that's coming up and obviously like doing the BAFTA nominations there's so many games that came up that I hadn't played but I've now put them on my list and I'm going to try and like do so I really want to play Returnal Yes. Um, so that's on the list and I heard that's really good and I think is it tomorrow tomorrow there's there's like the bit where it's like it's now multiplayer as well yeah so I feel like it's a good time to get into that as well definitely I mean that is a really tricky game but it's it's co-op you can do the whole campaign and co-op now yeah that's what I was thinking might be a fun one um and I'm what I'm doing is trying to finish the games that I didn't finish what all of last year so <laughs> Resident Evil is village is still sitting there um uh oh gosh what's the other one um it takes two oh, i we, wanted to finish that oh, and yeah. play that again isn't it takes two one of the best games like i, I just think like with i just think like i don't know just everything with the narration to like the story and just how it played was just they put so much effort and time into it and I think it's such a beautiful game and I wasn't expecting it to be so good so I'm going to finish playing that with Danny because again it took us 86 years to play it and then I'm going to play it again mm-hmm. from the beginning because sometimes I think if you t- to take too long to play it like you kind of lose the story again so yeah, I'm going to yeah. do it again mm-hmm. from the beginning it it's a lot long. longer than I than I thought it was going to be it I, does take exactly <laughs> but I think that's what we we weren't expecting and there's, there's at points where you're like okay it could be the end and you're like oh it's oh, oh no. okay no we're in some shit again <laughs> so <laughs> yeah well I kind of like that because I think it's it like I said I think it's a really good um, story so that's the main things that I'm going to be playing um i loved it takes two bit. yeah we finished it because uh we did it over like three streams or something and honestly it was my game of the year last year five but yeah was it five was it was your game of the year last yeah. year yeah i i mean okay it, it, there wasn't, i can see that there wasn't too much to uh, last year i know every time i say it people go well actually no there were all these great games there were <laughs> lots and lots of eight out of ten games for me last okay. year and it takes two was the sole nine out of ten <laughs> so yeah. there weren't any tens i mean this year already like I mean, I'm lo- I Elden love Elden Ring. Your ten out of ten. It's for, yeah, I'd say it was a ten out of ten for me. It's kind of got me into the series, got me into that genre uh, that other ones haven't. Um, but there's also potential for loads more. I mean, Gran Turismo. I moan about oh it and stuff. Oh God! Jesus Christ! Ben. Ten out of ten. Jesus. Christ. It is the ultimate racing game. Oh, it's not God. though. It is. You well. really had us like with you, and then you just. Ten out of ten so far. Tunic. Jeez. Putting that out there. Tunic. Okay, yeah, cool. Genuinely. I'm willing to listen to you, Ed, especially because of the, oh, the Aperol thing. If we swing back around to that. Okay, cool. Sorry. Window um, cleaner. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like the stuff that you spray on work surfaces and, you know, to clean. Yes, yes, it is. But I mean, we're not here to slander you right now. We'll just do it behind your back. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. Um, yeah. Heather's the only one that has my back when it comes to uh, <laughs> Gran Turismo. <laughs> Good, because we don't, yeah, <laughs> boom, to <laughs> Grand <Tourism. laughs> Um, Yeah, I'm just, I think that's it. I just want to play these, especially because the more you start doing stuff, right, and the more, like, um, especially when I'm having, like, conversations with people and with games that are coming out, I do feel like I want to be more more knowledgeable about games that I wouldn't necessarily like typically play or that I haven't had time to play with so even if I'm not playing it on stream at least playing it because Returnal I don't know how that got past me and I didn't play it even um Horizon 
again, I started that like two weeks ago, um, Horizon Zero Dawn, not oh. even the second one because I hadn't played the first one and I was trying to rush play it so that I could get ready for the second one. And I was like, no, this is such a good story that I don't want to rush it. I'd rather Take just not, yeah, yeah, I'd rather do it and play it properly. So there's that as well. So I think that's going to be my focus, like doing like these games. That... So we're putting Dead by Daylight to the side. Yeah, Dead by Daylight like, used to be my um like my go-to like relaxation. Like I couldn't choke my ex, so instead I just let someone put me on the hook instead. You know? <laughs> um oh, Hor- yeah, but we're putting that to the side. Horizon Zero Dawn I played. I was like, I'm gonna pre- in preparation, I'm gonna replay it in preparation for the new game coming out. And so I replayed it <laughs> and then kind of burnt myself out on it. And then the new game came out, I bought You're it like, and didn't no. open it. <laughs> <laughs> it's downloaded. It's not what not I played. thought. It's mm. not what I thought. It's actually so good that a lot of people didn't. Surprisingly, it wasn't spoiled for me because when things were happening, I was like, oh, this is not the time that I thought it was. I thought it was like based in a certain time, like based somewhere. And it wasn't like I'm saying that because I don't want to spoil it for anyone that hasn't played it over where I'm pretty sure I'm the only person in the world that hasn't. But like, um, and it just got more and more. And then I was like, oh my God, they're geniuses. And then the more it went on, I was like, oh my God, they're idiots. Like, I'm like, this is, and to the point that I was asking these lot, because they were in the chat, and I was like, are these, are they, is this as silly as I think it is? Are they believing in what they think they are? And they were. But then again, I was like, do you know what? I'm sure other people look at like some of the things that we do, or like ask us in general, and they're like, how can they believe in this so passionately when it doesn't even make sense? But I haven't seen, enough of the game because everyone's like just wait just wait you'll see you'll get even more if we <laughs> so, yeah. yeah yeah the story wait, definitely so. gets better okay i think okay i'm now at the point where like um she's now by herself i personally feel like she's she set up someone and um the reason why they aren't there is because of her and her decisions but okay um <laughs> Interesting. I hope that was enough. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. No, so those are the games I'm going to be playing. I'm going to be like um, focusing on the story ones and everything new that's coming out. I think because um, I'm going to be doing like more YouTube content. So when the games come in, I want to try and like get it and go wire. Also, I'm really so excited for Swiss Spoken because I really got it. I was so happy when definitely came out because of the way that they had the characters in they didn't put the characters in just because they were black characters and then had a narrative on like oh hey we're black and like this is it they just happened to be black and also fucking awesome and then like they had really good like voice actors and the game was good and it was really fun and also I could do like I felt like I could do like a really cute like semi-accurate cosplay like not accurate because like my boobs are like sitting on my fucking table, but like accurate in the way that I was like, oh okay, hey, we can relate on this shit, you know. Um, but um, so now I'm really excited about Full Spoken because I'm like, hey sis, look at you living your life. Ed's got some bad news about Full Spoken. You might have already heard though. Well, it's been delayed. It's, it's been delayed delay. to the autumn. Yeah, delay, delay. I, I was really excited about it, but you know what? Maybe that's good because honestly, why are they spunking out fucking games like it's Valentine's Day? What is happening? Why are they so many? What's happening? <laughs> that's the best phrase I've heard. No, um, I'm, honestly, I'm genuinely confused. It's, it's because like, is everything there a was meant. Everything was meant to come out last year, and because okay. of COVID, it's all got delayed, and now it's just like. Hmm. It's also, end of March is the end of the financial year, so they like to oh bang God, those out. Also buns. true. Yeah. COVID basically just got the games industry edging. <laughs> <laughs> it did, yeah. Make it last. Make it last. <laughs> <laughs> Me on the bus, baby. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Relatable. Okay, I understand now. Okay. All right. We've always got to be the end. And now it's the money shot. It is. The, <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oh, the end of this year, we're going to have one very <laughs> stiff towel. What is happening? Stiff towel. you be able to cut Look glass. At, listen, <laughs> can you... So these lot have to deal with you lot all the time. And this they come back. They have to deal with... Yeah, they do. Again, they, they're also into the 
So, yeah, so, so, Elden Ring for treatment. Should we just refer to them as Dark Soul players? <laughs> yes, they are. Hello. They're also Dark Soul players. <laughs> Hate Hot. being in the bunch. Holes Do you born. not have a combined name? Like the biggest bunch is this one, but for Ed is the what are yours, Ed? I don't have any fans. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, yes you do. Please. So lonely fans. I <laughs> I really thought like Ed was really like sweet and pure and angelic. Oh, no. But no, I was so wrong. I'm sure like Danny's just sitting there like, is this the same person? <laughs> oh, he's, okay, he has, no, we last meant, spoke in a very professional environment. Yeah, yeah. But I, I was I said I was really nervous of a like our conversation and I was like, oh well, Why? that's really good, like Ed and stuff. And now I've learned a lot of things about you today, which I will be using against you at some point Please. later. Please. Um <laughs> what I meant was like if there were Ben and Ed name, like Ben Ed. Hmm. Bed. Bed. Ed, oh no. Or is it Ed and Ben? Eden. Oh, I like that. Mm. Sounds nice. I quite like Eden. Hmm. Flanders fans, <laughs> Let, let's not bring Flanders back. So one please. time, Cassie Ed uh, decided to try and grow a mustache, and he looked just like Ned Flanders. <laughs> oh my god, you're gonna have to get him a one like a onesie so he can be sexy Flanders, right? Sexy Flanders. <laughs> yes. So, yes. Ben. We, we do. Have, cup. No. We we, we actually do have Ed. We do have Ned. Yeah, we do have an uh, Ned Flanders. Um, emotes don't we in the chat of uh oh no right there this it is. is good yeah um, there you go can you please I will not wiggle do my the cosplay yes if we get you the outfit will you do, <laughs> <laughs> do it exactly like this can't be if my cheeks like that outfit, i wish i could <laughs> what <do> you do <laughs> we you remember what i told you as well i literally my bum is like so big for nothing it does nothing it's literally a stationary object and what i'll do is every time i drink i like stand in the middle of the dance floor and i'm like come on you're gonna work for me and i think it's because i spent a lot of time as you can see stuck in the 90s thinking like these dances is gonna hit me and like I'm just all of a sudden gonna be like doing dances like you got served or honey, but nothing happens. It's just <laughs> there, out uh, of rhythm, for no reason. Okay. We'll have to go what an dancing. emotional, what an emotional conversation we're having. <laughs> Cassie, let's go, my friend. That's exactly my safe thing. Or I do the things where I pretend that I'm like like mocking like a terrible dance like Britney Spears but actually that's how I dance <laughs> yeah uh, okay. well we're all friends <laughs> thank I mean... you for letting me go on my tangents thanks you're welcome I was just thinking when you were saying like you met in a professional setting I mean Ed and I the first time we chatted in person was when you were interviewing me what yeah interviewed Wait, me oh my god so I'm next yeah you're next yep. it's your oh turn I'm just, I'm just working my way around to it Just yeah. said. <laughs> You and Ebonix, same time. <laughs> oh my god. The throttle, no one. I wanted. wish. I wish. <laughs> uh, wait, was it really? When you like, wait, did you flirt a little bit or you just like, oh, okay, this is mine? Let's not talk about this. Okay, no, okay. <laughs> he whapped his dick out. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I've never watched like Wattpad or read these Wattpad stories, but I feel like it might be a Wattpad story. Like the beginning of like, I don't know, One Direction Love. Okay, I love this for us. Will you tell me one day? Don't worry, I'll give, one you, day. Like, I'll give you a porn star martini and then you'll be fine. It'll be fine. That will be necessary, yeah. <laughs> Double fisted. <laughs> no! <laughs> So, are we going to go on to the headlines? Let's we, move on to the headlines. We are nearly two hours in. Ahead, this yes. is going to be the longest podcast we've done, I think. Yeah, <laughs> I'm so, I'm focused. All right, oh. cool. Mm. Right. Enough. Split the headlines. Let's do headlines. this. Split the headlines. I'm going to go through them quickly. Um, we've talked about Mario Kart. Yes. The um, DLC is live tonight. In an hour. Yay. For, for the new tracks. So, okay. um, go down. The, the download is already available. Get it downloaded. And then it just unlocks... Um, midnight in uh, Europe, I believe it's 11 o'clock here, so it's whatever the earlier times are in the US. Um, so yeah, go in an hour. America, get ready, it's coming. If you're watching this live, it's in an hour. If you're listening to this later, it's already live. 
<laughs> Done. Um, also, yesterday was the Microsoft Xbox Indie Showcase, um, oh. which is where they announced Tunic uh, oh. coming to Game Pass. They announced a lot of other stuff as well. Um, All of it shit. Not, not much of it really <laughs> grabbed my attention. Was it not? Was it not good? Right. Um, was there anything just, else that was a contender that you thought was okay? It's all right. There's just a lot of a lot of indie games, and it's it's the sort of thing where it could have been like 15 minutes, and they dragged okay. it out into like a two hour Twitch stream. Oh mm. no! Um, so they like doing that. A lot of stuff, yeah. Um, I mean, there's Trek to Yomi that was already announced mm. for PlayStation, which basically looks like Ghost of Tsushima but 2D. Okay. That's also coming to Xbox. That looks quite cool. Um, Game Pass. Maybe. Um, there was some other um, like RPG fantasy type stuff. Another game that also came to um, Game Pass yesterday is called Paradise Killer, which has already been out for a while um, yeah. on old consoles. It's now on the new ones. It's like a sort of murder mystery, okay. um, but like open world with a sort mm. of bright anime kind oh. of vibe. Um, and you have to basically guess who is the murderer, but it could be anyone and you can work out the story it looks really I, cool That's i'm looking works. at the pictures of it it looks it looks cool mm. there's a oh there's a murder mystery game that was really popular i really want to play and i can't remember what it was it had like a time loop that you refreshed it was oh my god what was it called is it old it was like a time loop and you had to be in different areas and you worked out what it was no it was quite recent it wasn't that old at all and i have it um Do you mean the forgotten city no it was like a two it was um Oh, it did so well uh, when it came to reviews and stuff. I'm just, I have it on uh, Steam, so I'm kind of like just slowly scrolling through. Like scrolling through yeah. it because is that it, sounds it like the black and white one. No, it had pink in it, I think. Um, but which, yeah, it. I, I'll get to it. I'm just going down. We'll come I'm back just to looking yeah. at this. I'll just so shout it out. I've seen Kraken Academy, Paradise Killer. So they've got like, so it's basically four new narrative indie games that they've kind of focused on. Yeah, okay. basically. Um, so go read the announcements if you're interested. <laughs> there are things coming. Um, what was announced a few weeks ago is that uh, Capcom are bringing Resident Evil 2, 3 and 7. Red PS5. Strings Club. <laughs> oh, I played that. I think. Red Strings Club. No, no, not Red Strings Club. No. Okay. Sorry, keep going. All right. Fine. So close. <laughs> oh, no. no, Sexy Brutal. Oh, I've heard of that. Yeah. There sexy you go. Brutal. The Sexy Brutal. Okay. You can play it on your stream deck as well. Do you not have a stream deck? No. I mean, a Steam. Oh, my God. Oh, wait. No, sorry. Steam deck. That's what I meant. Yeah, I know. Yeah, see, you see the problem. Yeah. I see the problem. <laughs> okay. Do you have um, a Steam deck? No. No. Okay. I don't have a spare six hundred and fifty pounds. <laughs> it's six hundred and fifty pounds. I just get a Tamagotchi. No, no. I need. To, <laughs> I need. To, I need to switch. figure out what's going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah um, I do want one, but that's a lot, isn't it? Like, that's more than it a is. PlayStation. I feel like I mean, there are there are cheaper versions. That's the most expensive one, but it comes with the biggest SD card, mm. and we all want the biggest card. Yeah, of course. Um. So. There's no point getting the cheaper one. I feel yeah. like I feel like wait for the next iteration of them. <laughs> yeah, because it feels enough. yeah. At the moment, I've read things saying like it's close, but it it's not ready. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um. So yes, Resident Evil two, three, and seven come into PS Five and Xbox. Um, which we knew a week or so ago. Um, they've now said as well that um save files will transfer across. And also DLC will transfer across. So basically, if you already own the games, if you're only if you're already halfway through, you can just carry on with the new versions. Nice. Pretty graphics. If you're a big Resident Evil fan, um, I don't know if either of you are going to be interested in Perfect Dark. <gasps> Wait. Oh my God! Is this old? Is it a new an old game? Yeah. So Perfect Dark on the N64. Oh, oh my God! Sorry. <laughs> Right. Did you play it? I and did. It, oh my god! Ben didn't have an N64, so he doesn't care. No, I loved Perfect Dark. It was amazing. Oh my god! What are they doing with it? So they are in the process of making a new one. Um, on it's going to be on Xbox. Um, and it's a developer called The Initiative, 
But what's been in the news is that over the last year, they've basically lost loads of their top staff. So it seems like this game is kind of really troubled and is is kind of in development hell. What is Bad wrong times. with you? This is the second time you've done this, right? <laughs> you bring me things. here and then you just <laughs> take me all the way back. Why? <laughs> Such a horrible person. This is, um, okay. So Sorry. as I said, like the first game I ever, ever played was, I think, Goldeneye. So obviously, like it was around those times. <laughs> don't worry about my age, babes. Um, so yeah, <laughs> like uh, I don't. Oh my gosh, that's so. Yeah. Okay. So cool. I got excited. It would be cool. It would be cool when it comes out. But yeah, it just seems like there's there's a lot of problems at uh, at that particular studio. Okay. Um, and then we get to Elden Ring news because we haven't talked about it enough. Um, <laughs> apparently, um, we mentioned Margaret. Margaret is the first major boss. Margaret. It's been okay. defeated by Margaret. By 70% of players, <laughs> which is quite a big stat because that's, yeah. you know, it is it is a tricky game and it's a tricky boss, but 70% of people um, have, have beaten that boss. And okay. the game has sold now 12 million copies. 12 so, million? Yeah, which is huge. Um, wow. And so to think 70% of those people have all at least got past the first boss. Oh, it's but pretty impressive. Is- I'm thinking of the other side of the 30%. My people, they're just listening to this right now, like, oh. Yeah, I love a few okay. people have replied to that tweet with, like, I'm in a 30%. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but yes, there was um, a big patch. I've just realized I didn't actually put the speedrunning thing in here that Ben mentioned earlier. But yes, <laughs> the game has been completed in 29 minutes now. I thought okay, it was 28. So... So with when they do the speed running, um, and someone mentioned this, I think Bex was talking about this. Is it just that they've played it so much that they already know where everything is, or are they skipping like everything and they're just trying to rush to their like end? Like so, what they will have done is kind of learned everything in the game, worked out what are the most important items that you need to get, the best weapons to get, and how to get them. They will then learn the best route across the map that's like the quickest. But what they're also doing is using a special technique um, called wrong warping, which is done in a lot of speed runs, where basically you trick the game into warping you somewhere different. I don't quite understand where it works. I think it's like if you die, you then obviously walk back to where, you know, to a checkpoint, but you trick the game into warping you somewhere else on the map. And so basically they use that to warp to like the end of the game. And then just beat the last boss and go. So it's sort of cheating, but it's still clever the way that they actually do. Yeah. And so knowing really how to do it is a thing. Yeah. yeah. Mm. But yeah, okay. it's 29 minutes, which is very impressive. But yeah. there was a new update to the game today, which brought various different things. Um, okay. It's added markers for NPCs to the okay. map. Um, so you can actually track where you met people, which I didn't know this. Pretty useful. Oh, cool. um, it wasn't on there before, um, which meant it was really easy to lose track of, of where different people were, different merchants around the map. Now they had markers on. Some people are angry about it because it takes away the purity, but fuck them. Fuck it. <laughs> um, so is there an option to not have it? Sadly not. Okay. Okay. Yeah. It is on there now. Yeah. Um, they've also added some a new NPC. They've added some new quests. So all of that is really nice. They've yeah. uh, fixed a load of bugs, which okay. we love to see. Um, but what they've also done is balanced some of the weapons and abilities. So for instance, they've now actually made sorceries a lot more powerful than they were already. Mm. Um, hence, it's even more of easy mode, if that's what you want. That's how I play. Um, but what they've also done is they've nerfed a couple of abilities that the speedrunners were using, which is quite interesting, mm. um, that were a bit overpowered. Um, potentially, it's also because of PvP. So when you invade people and play against them, some people are really overpowered because of certain abilities. So they've mm. balanced it. So lots of changes to the game. Um, but yeah, it has sold 12 million copies. And they've said now, and this is my segue, that it is a fantastic start for the new franchise. Which okay. suggests that they are turning Elden Ring into the new Dark Souls. They're going to make sequels. They're going to do much more with it. I'm going to okay. ruin your segue. 
Uh, Mel okay. says um, they've nerfed the, you might have said this while I was reading the patch notes, but they've nerfed the weapon that they used to get the speed run. So the patch. I the... literally just said okay, that. Okay, yeah. I, I wasn't listening. <laughs> <laughs> this, this happens every episode. <laughs> I was reading the patch notes. Ah, we're at this point of the evening. No, I was reading, <laughs> yeah, crack out more wine. No, I was, re- I was reading some patch Can notes. Can you share so. it, please? It's like oh. I'm back home with mum and dad. Ro- Rose. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us more. <laughs> uh, Rose, that's one of, what percentage is that, Rose? That, I always find that it's too weak for me. Like 10% or something. Yeah, this is what I have with my cereal. It's 8%. <laughs> 8%? That's not wine. <laughs> Yeah, that's, no, that's like liquid juice. wine gums. Literally, what I'd feel to children, honestly. <laughs> yeah. It's fruit juice. Yeah. Fruit juice, that is. Yeah. Uh. Let me babysit your kids, everyone. <laughs> Don't clip this for <laughs> my nieces or anyone that I have responsibility for. I am not an adult, but it's okay. <laughs> Delete the pod. Okay. All right. Continue. <laughs> Do you mean this won't go anywhere? It was me at Bonnets all along. <laughs> okay. It was. Right. It was. Yes. So, so segue. <laughs> That's our segue into um, split opinions, mm-hmm. um, where we have come up with some ideas of games that either should become franchises that were one-offs, or games that are franchises and should not be, and should have stayed as a one-off. Okay, so can we stop doing Call of Duty first? <laughs> okay, all right, please, let's, let's jump go. in. Let's jump in. Okay, let's, all right. Let's go. Call of Duty, why do we hate it? Okay, I just, I don't understand. Isn't it the same game? Mm. all the time but just like remix slightly different don't put oregano there instead of rosemary and be like it's a new dish it's not i just i'm tired please honestly also it's people's whole personality and i'm sick and tired yeah. what you're doing is shooting at things because what jd sports clothes can we not i just don't want to do this anymore oh we went to oh, JD, JD sports we went to jd sports about literally they're still here haven't even yeah. taken them out of the bag yet <laughs> did you buy a cod game there. Uh yeah. no, but I you know it was it was full of people that definitely play Call of Duty. Yeah. It was, um... So my thing is is that like I was talking about this the other day. Like I played I, I'm a secret um enjoyer of the skate of ghosts, which was like ages and ages ago. And we found out we were mm. talking about it. it was like 2009. And then there was like Modern Welfare, and then like the rest of the games just seem like they're all the same. I don't understand like what what's I don't understand why it's still going. Why is it so often as well? Like, it's not mm. exciting. Like, it gets done and then it's over. Um, FIFA. FIFA's even I think worse, I'm but... actually, I think I'm, this might be some kind of, like, angry prejudice against every guy that I've, like, matched with on Tinder and they're like, oh, you're a gamer. What do you play? And I'm like, oh, I play this. And they're like, yeah, yeah, I'm a gamer. I play FIFA and I play COD. I think it's my anger towards them. It's my misdirected to the brand. So but I'm still going to do it. I'm I'm Thanks. somebody that plays. I like the Call of Duty campaigns because they're so short and it's kind of oh a bit God. of a spectacle. Are they not good? Yeah, they're, they are they good. They are. Like, no really one them. plays them. They're quite fun. Yeah. I mean, some of them are really good. World War II. Uh, I like. I, in fact, I really liked the multiplayer because it was World War. No, yeah, it was World War II, and all the weapons were kind of like World War II weapons that were really slow. <laughs> so I was like, I love this because these weapons are like really slow to load, and like you've got to be a bit more tactical than just yeah. like firing out. So I, yeah. I actually enjoyed that. But also, yeah, I I might have bought FIFA. So I might have bought FIFA yesterday because it was sixty five percent off, and I went and downloaded it. I clicked. I clicked the download to your PlayStation oh, Five. And it and it downloaded it to Ed's PlayStation Five instead. It has since been deleted <laughs> immediately. I Thank you, you, Ed. You were doing everything right. Um, and the also thing, report the, him. Oh, I will. I okay. Will. <laughs> the thing with FIFA that I don't understand, and I feel like this is the model they should move to, mm-hmm. is that it should just be one game. But it should be like Fortnite, where it's like it's free to play and there's seasons. So every yes. season they update it. You don't have to spend like sixty quid on the new game that is the yeah. same with different. FIFA shirts. needs that. FIFA yeah. definitely needs that. It just doesn't make sense. What? So every time they do a new game, why? Why is that? Money. Money. Okay. <laughs> because they know that all those men that you dated that and me rightly did not deserve you are buying shitty football yeah. games every year. Yeah. Yeah, I, I've... and refusing to split the bill. Yeah. So. <gasps> they re- what? As in they refused to because they paid? No, because they're like, oh, wait, you suggested it. Oh my gosh, we'll, do- we'll slag them off later. Definitely, my... don't worry. What? It's all right. I've and 
I've earned things by stealing their credit card information. It's fine. Um, I feel like uh, I want to say this. Like this is going to sound bad, but you know, just dance. Mm. I really love just dance. I use it to work out and stuff. But it comes out every year, and it doesn't need to because yeah. you have to pay money to use like the Ubisoft Connect. And because you use the Ubisoft Connect, that's where all the games are. So why do we have to buy a new game? Because all it comes out with is like four like Madonna dances from 2006. It's like, wait, really? <laughs> <laughs> no, because even if that's even if that's the case, like you're because like all the games are on like an online thing. So you use that and mm. you get all of the extra games. So it gives you like the games that come with the thing, and they're like, oh, unlock more. But if you don't have if you don't have it you don't have anything good like it's just the awful stuff mm. so like and also I just feel like yeah yeah so I don't understand why they keep bringing out another game if there's nothing that's different about it all the games are the same it's just that the song chase choices are changing and it's the same thing that you're saying about like FIFA and I, I guess less COD because COD they at least like pretend that it's a different game <laughs> and they give you like a different like kind of background or whatever yeah. but like with those games if it's just the same but you've got different characters or you've got different songs you're literally just milking people aren't you no I totally yeah. agree with you there yeah because I remember getting Just Dance one year uh, and um, it was mainly for like forfeits on stream and we, yeah, they come with like that subscription. Yeah, there's some clips of me. Uh, yeah. of ra- <laughs> okay, Rasputin. Have you done a Rasputin? I love Rasputin. I, I nearly pulled my back out doing that. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> my, I oh. think my favorite um, dance in there, which makes me really happy every time I do it, is uh, um, Elton John's I'm Still Standing. It's just like a really nice. Um, I don't know it's just a really nice dance and it's a really good feel good song mm. so like if I'm like oh I can't be bothered to do it once I've done that like it does whatever which is what's good but I've had it for the same like four years I didn't need to get like four of the games for it <laughs> so um <laughs> yeah I'm also just wondering if someone's gonna drop the link of um Ben dancing mm. whilst we're talking because there we are Mon- Moni, will, no, Moni will be on it yeah, okay sure. cool thank you Lenny <laughs> Spengler says, and that's why I see tons of those games collecting dust on game shelves. Honestly, Just Dance, like with the second you go to a shop that has like secondhand games, it's just, here's, here's the Just Dance section. Yeah. <laughs> Which year would you yeah. like? <laughs> what it's obviously just a bit of a waste, I think. Yeah. yeah. Um, Melaman Chat said every Ubisoft franchise, and I am going to throw out for this Assassin's Creed. Okay, would interesting. Have been great as a one-off game because the first game I thought was actually really interesting yeah. it was a stealth game yeah but for once wasn't about crawling around in the dark yeah because that's what stealth always is it's like hide in the shadows and this was like hide in plain sight in the crowds and it was interesting and it was about being stealthy being an assassin mm-hmm. and it's like as the series has gone on it's moved further and further and further away from actually being about stealth and now yeah. you've got Valhalla that's just like Viking simulator. Yeah, raids. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you just charge in and kick the shit out of things. And yeah, yeah, it's fun. And it's like Viking RPG, but that's not what Assassin's Creed was. And I just feel like the series has really moved so far away from what that first game was, mm. that if that had been a really cool one-off game, I would have been here for it. And it's yeah. just gone, you know, I, I get that they're like, as much as they're reskinning it for like different periods of history. Mm-hmm. That's kind of cool. But it's just it's not what the game should be it should be an assassin game and yeah. i've I, I don't feel like an assassin in the latest ones i just no. i'm so, just charging around i agree i really liked assassin's creed valhalla however it's not an assassin's creed game it should just be a separate game yeah. i love the fact like i love all of the viking stuff etc and i thought it had a really good like um beginning of the story um i definitely wanted to be choked out by that man's braid i just feel like it was unnecessary yeah i feel like it's a different it doesn't need to be that game and i think they hold on to that because they want to propel like it into like something um that it's not it should just be a separate game because i remember the original one when you'd like fly and you'd like land into like the little um like things in the ground and then you have to like come out it was really stealthy and then 
I don't know. I was such a little sad fuck. And obviously it's not even that old, so you can imagine the age that I was doing this, but I definitely <laughs> had my hood up and I was like walking through people IRL, like moving them like, <laughs> my Assassin's Creed in the club because I thought it was hilarious. But um yeah, that's what Assassin's <laughs> Creed is, and they don't do that anymore. Um Did you jump so, off yeah, the, so any know. like church spires into haystacks <laughs> i went to a catholic school so yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but I, yeah i know what you mean I, I also think as well when it comes to valhalla i i, I deleted it after 60 hours i so I, got, oh, did you? I did 60 odd hours and that took That's about six bit, months though. yeah well the thing is i looked at then i was like i wonder how far through the main story i was and i wasn't even halfway so i'm like you know what no. <laughs> you know i'm not no. i've got the time for this yeah uh, no i didn't realize that because i must have played I got into it and I think I must have played about 11 hours of it. Yeah. And I definitely thought like, yeah, no, that's too long. But some people enjoy that, don't they? I think as well, that's what they're thinking. They're like, oh, you want to be immersed in Viking uh, land? Well, let's make a game that could be 200 hours long if you want to. And it's like, it's not necessarily just about, it's not necessarily about length. You know, you need to be yeah. enjoying every moment of it. Yeah. There's also um, new DLC for Valhalla, which is set in literally in norse mythology so there are moments of that in the main game but they've extended that into its own thing oh, and you're no, like no this sounds really cool it sounds mm. literally like viking rpg in norse mythology great cool but that's not assassin's creed to me they need a separate game for it because like you said ben i think because even with um the fact of like how long it is if it's a game that you know that it's going to be like that then you can do that Ugh, this is I feel bad because this is how I feel about Persona 5. I really liked Persona 5, the music. I was like, whatever. And I was so excited, probably about like hour 40 in the game. I was like, I'm done. I'm really done. Like, no, like it was hard to keep the enthusiasm for it because it was just going on and especially for being on stream. Maybe if it was off stream, but I just, it just kept going. And I was like, <sighs> okay. All right, and that's how I feel. I'd feel like with Valhalla, and once it's off, it's off. Like once you've decided I'm not playing this shit anymore, it's done. <laughs> Thanks, money Just for like post. Our exes, yeah. Thank you, money for posting that. Uh, oh, what? money! You blessing. Oh my god, Thank you money! So much. <laughs> wow. Thank you. <gasps> this is 23 seconds of pure joy. I... This is me dancing wow, to rustling and puffing. I don't know who this person is. <laughs> That's me huffing and huffing and puffing, effing and jeffing. This it, looks like a BBC Three skit. <laughs> it was on my stream, <laughs> but I think it's been cropped. That's why it's such bad. I uh... love this. Also, you look so handsome. Oh, thank you. Is that why you didn't recognise me? Wow. <laughs> no. I mean, I don't know who this is. I've been like, why, why, why you're holding this like vibrator and just doing these moves. <laughs> You should see wow. where the other one is. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and we're back. We were doing so well. We were so professional. Like, mm, this game. Yes, yeah, vibrator. <laughs> <laughs> Not BBC3. At least BBC3 is back on TV. A compliment now. Um, but I was, yeah, when it comes to that, that, I agree with you with that. But I also think that the Ubisoft devs just don't respect your time. It's like, okay, cool. Assassin's Creed, great. But allow me to finish that game in 20 hours. Or 30 yes. or 30 hours just let me finish it in 30 hours if i want to give me all this yeah. stuff as optional extras that i can go and do all these extra quests like for example ghost of tsushima was really good for that they had so many kind of side stories not even just side quests that were like full stories with you know six to eight nine parts to them but they mm -hmm. were completely optional um they were really great and they were actually well written as well but it kind of respected your time and you could have just mainlined yeah. the main story and i wish and also yeah the the area you go to it's not valhalla because valhalla's where, what's it called the place where you go to the mythology place in valhalla but um i just found that place uh, i just found it really boring because it was meant to be like midgar in, midgar is it yeah oh uh, yes and sure. i just found like okay we're in midgar it's still very it's like it was exactly the same as the main Maybe. game but with like a little bit of extra kind of mm. weirdness to it and i'm like well this isn't a the heavens or the, the place of the gods this is just a place that looks slightly weirder and fancier and plays just like an assassin's creed game it's hard to keep up that asgard like, is it asgard there. asgard that's the one asgard. asgard i should have known that because of the actual show of vikings 
I thought it was good. Is it good? It was really good. I didn't finish it, but I am going to go back to it because they've got a new they've got a new one coming out. I think it's like Vikings Two or whatever, and <laughs> everyone's saying that's really good. Um, I just I hate it when someone spoils something, and I could continue the show, but because it's been spoiled for me, I can't enjoy it the same. Yeah. And like I, it's basically always what will usually happen is that I see the person that I was watching in a show in another show and I'm like there's no way you've got time for this so if you're in this that means you've definitely died in this and <laughs> I can't watch it anymore <laughs> I'm not like with like when they ruin it like, for example when <laughs> Game of Thrones had that crap end to the last season and I'm like Ugh, well I loved yeah. every single other season but now I can't ever watch it again yes, I just know I how badly it ends yeah yeah oh. yeah it's not even like you can watch a little bit because you know how terribly they've done throughout. So everything that they've done, yeah, it'll yep. come to it. All so, ruined. Yeah. <laughs> so and what what franchise do you think shouldn't be a franchise? Oh, you're gonna you're gonna dislike me for this, and people disagree oh, with me. People, well, Jack and Daxter. Okay, I think it's gonna say. I think so. the original Jack and Daxter was amazing. And then Jack 2, they tried to make it a little bit of like Grand Theft Auto kind of open world stuff. And he's just like, no, that's not Jack and Daxter. Just the I only played the first Jack and Daxter. And I agree that's a great game, but I don't know. I, I know I've heard how they changed, but I haven't played them. Yeah. So I couldn't comment on I that. I played a little more, but it just didn't feel like it. Oh, yeah. I think a lot of people would be, agree with you from the reviews here. I haven't played this, though. Mm. They've got how many? Three. Three other uh, games. Four. They done a racing, and oh, then yeah. they put, and then Daxter did his own spin-off. Yeah, on Vita, Oh yeah, so it? they kept going on. Okay, all right. Yeah, it just didn't need it. The first Jack was just brilliant. Exactly. Yeah, just keep, just keep it there, and just keep remaking that one. Mm. And if you do want to make a sequel to it, kind of make it the same game as not the same game as the first, but kind of just you know, you don't need to reinvent the wheel. Yeah. I honestly hate it when people get something right and instead of them building on the rightness that they get, they're like, okay, we've done this. Let's make something else completely new because we thought we did well with that. And like then Arctic, they lose their original. Like the yeah. Arctic Monkeys. Have you heard the latest Arctic Monkeys album? <laughs> oh, no, please. It's no, like, don't ruin this for it's me. It's like jazz lounge music. Oh, God. All right. Well, all their other songs sound the same. So Well, no, I love the Arctic Monkeys. Monkeys, oh, let's but... not go into this. The thing is, they okay. got they got to number one with all of that, and then they released yeah. the jazz thing, and it just went and flopped. <laughs> like, utterly, but, okay, utterly flopped. And this is what my problem is: is that he had a whole band to do all of that stuff with. So why would he like take that and then? Because he had his old whole next band, like the Four Knuckles or whatever. I don't know. They weren't called that. I'm just like there was something. Um. Anyway, so I don't understand why he then was like, okay. It's not enough that I've made the four knuckles do this. I'm also going to bring this back to the Arctic Monkeys. Like, pain and suffering. You were doing fine. Like, I want to be singing in a very, like, UK accent with that. I don't understand why you've decided to do this because he's put a little bit of, like... Uh, okay, I was going to go on the rant again. Okay, do we, all right. Do we go on the rant? <laughs> oh, I mean, I, I love um, Alex Turner. He, he was dating the head girl at my college. Um, but he's... I just really like him. I also loved what? his the songs for Submarine as well. Oh, I did. Okay, I was going to say, was it the Sugar Babe? Didn't he date a Sugar Babe? Yeah, I, I don't think I went. No, the only person from that college who was famous was Chanel from Big Brother who married... No! <laughs> who married... Oh, my God, fake Victoria Beckham. The fake Victoria Beckham, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> no way. She, yeah, she was at my uh, that, college. That's, like, literally famous. <laughs> That is a big deal. She married Preston. She married who? Preston from The Ordinary Boys. She did. I don't know who that is. Do you know The, the Ordinary Boys? No. What did they sing, Ed? They were on... Oh, no one knows. They were on Big Brother together. And on Nevermind the Buzzcocks, and, she, and he walked out of Nevermind the Buzzcocks. Oh, yes, him! Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah, I do. Oh, my God, I used to love... Oh, my God, don't tell anyone. He's quite, like, he's quite hot. Yeah, he? I honestly, I would have like gargled his left ball. Like <laughs> he was really cute. Um, oh my god, why did I forget that? Oh yeah, it's probably because I've forgotten this. Like I forgot that this happened. Hang I on, really <laughs> hang that on, younger. What the fuck, man? Like gargled his left 
football. Not the right one. Yeah. That's the dirty no. one. <laughs> no. Oh, he looks. Is he not nice now? Weathered. <laughs> weathered is the best way to describe that. Oh. He looks weathered. He used to be really cute, but he definitely looks like he's been stung by bees, maybe. Mm. Um. Oh my god, my <laughs> vagina was literally so indiscriminate. I don't know how we got here. Okay, we'll go back. I'm gonna save this and then come back to it. So sorry. Garage I was just is, looking at his Instagram. Heather says, Garage is left ball. Almost Heather's northern. Heather doesn't understand the southern accent. Uh, okay, I apologize. <laughs> Gargle. Oh. Yeah, where is Cassie's podcast? Honestly, We're... Cassie, open invite. Come back anytime you want. Oh, this is honestly so fun. Um, so I mean hundred percent. I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna answer the questions because be like, hi guys, I'm here to talk about my problems. Thank <laughs> <laughs> this perfect. has been therapy for me. I refuse. Better help. You're not getting my money. Let me go and cancel that subscription today. <laughs> You're not having me for this month. I now have you. Thanks, yeah. Emil. Oh, <laughs> uh, just I'm chatting to a couple of nerds. Instead. <laughs> I'm at home. <laughs> Filthy nerds. Oh. That's kind. What about you, Ed? What game franchise yeah, do you sorry. think shouldn't have become a franchise? Assassin's Creed. We oh, did that. No, we... uh -huh. oh, yeah. Nothing okay. exciting. No in original, not like Zelda, because the original was the best. Same. No, absolutely not. Um, a game that was a one-off that I think should have been more mm. um, is The Order 1886, which was a game that came out on the PS4. Did it last about um, 20 minutes? Ago. It was quite short, yes. Um, but um, it was set in Victorian London, um, but with this kind of steampunk vibe and you're playing as the Knights of the Round Table. Um, what? But, like, you're, but you're literally like shooting vampires and werewolves with guns. And like, it sounds bizarre, but it's, it was really sort of like grim and dark and serious. But the setting of it was so cool. Mm. It sounds almost bloodborne in a way. You, yeah. just, um, you just liked it because it had the black bars across like a movie, didn't you? It was like the first no. game to do that. <laughs> no. I'm not quite that pretentious. Um, it did look stunning, but in terms of its playing, it was kind of just a third-person shooter. What and did you say? It's the Ordinary... The Order 1886. The Audi. The Audi. <laughs> Cassandra. <laughs> Honestly. Sorry. Um, and, like, the lead card is also kind of hot <laughs> um, in a daddy way. Um, oh, wow. So... It just had oh. a really, really cool setting, but the gameplay was a bit disappointing. But I think had that had another game to build on the setting with some more interesting gameplay, it could have been really, really cool. But mm. it clearly flopped, and then th th they just haven't gone back to it. But I think it just has such a cool setting. And it looks really good. It looks like you're watching the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen or something. Ooh, yeah, yeah. 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 Mm. Yeah, but I think it was. Big, I think it flopped as well, mainly because of just how short it was, and everyone was like, "I'm not playing that." Yeah, for it was. They yeah. really hyped it as like, "This is how amazing the PS4 can look," and then it literally lasted about five hours, and people were like, "Oh, well, that's disappointing." <laughs> I think it was even less than that, wasn't it? Maybe I think three. People yeah. saying that it's like nine hours, but I'm guessing if they're going to, if with everything like story and sides, so I'm guessing like for that to have loads of side quests and stuff, and it'd be like that. Oh. But this looks like my type of game. Oh, you said it rushed is apparently actually under six hours. So it's not actually, it's not that, yeah. to be honest. I mean, yeah. the Call of Duty campaign is that long. That's this the thing. game I think looks the... really good. I'm yeah. sorry, what? I think at the time, short shorter games were sort of less in fashion. And I think with yeah. like indie games and things now, we're used to shorter games. It's mm. actually nice to just play through something every weekend and be like, cool, I'm done with that now. I really enjoyed it. Move on. Um, and this was very that with just a really unique setting. Mm. Mm. Interesting. Uh, oh, and also a uh, game that should be a franchise. Um, totally forgotten. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> literally had it as I was asking you because it was a game that I thought you would do and I can't remember now. Cassie, what about you? Is there any game you'd like to see as a franchise? Okay, I don't know if I'd say that, but okay. There's two games that had like a ma three. Okay, major impact on me. And I think, and I feel like People don't talk about them enough. Randomly, this game called Blue Dragon that was on Xbox 360. Um, and it had like three discs and it was really long and it had a really good story. 
and I couldn't do the boss battle for ages and then I did it and I felt really happy um and I, I don't know I felt like they could have done a lot with the story and explored more with that um but if you ask me anything about it I pretty much can't remember except for all the characters were really cute and it reminded me a bit of like Final Fantasy but not as like annoying in some ways <laughs> um then do you know beyond good and evil mm. yes yeah so like oh my god i'm i they say two is coming out but i don't believe them i feel like they've been yeah. fucking with me for a while beyond good and evil such like i think these games were all around the same time that i played them and i was like when i was really exploring it and just going through loads of games instead of like doing my university stuff um but um beyond good and evil is like such a good game and I feel like it doesn't get the love and hype that it deserved. Um, so and I think that, again, is a really good story and had really interesting gameplay. Very cool um, game. And I played this game and sometimes things feel like a fever dream to me. And it took me ages to remember it. But I think, and I'm going to, I'll feel silly if it, there's more games of it. But this game called Hotel Dusk, and I played it on Nintendo. I think it was a Nintendo DS and basically this guy goes into a hotel and he has to like investigate like it's like a murder mystery thing and he has to like put things together and there's clues in there and I felt like it it almost looked like pencil art like the art of it was like in sepia and it was like really kind of um I don't know just a little bit different and I was 215 yeah oh my god so yeah that's all that's all i remember (laughs) wait hold on maybe this is not a pleasant memory because when you said that i was like fucking where do i go next (laughs) (laughs) but i remember playing this and i was like in ghana and i only had like two games and that was one of their games and like the um (laughs) the lights and electricity would go off all the time and that got me through it (laughs) (laughs) Um, so I would, and I just felt like because it was like, um, like the whole investigation thing, I'd love if there was something like that. It was like a more, less faffing about version of like Professor Layton, because I love the like investigation things of Professor Layton, but honestly, I feel like he's taking the fucking piss with our time sometimes. So, um, yeah, Hotel Dusk, that's why I mean. Can can we also, if anybody does Google Hotel Dusk Room 215, can I just say how they absolutely ruined the cover of that with the most the worst font I've ever seen on a, yeah. a video game <laughs> cover? It's such cool art. It and then... looks it, it looks like a PowerPoint presentation. <laughs> that, they've done what I always do with uh, Photoshop and put an outer glow on. Uh... Yeah, I do that with everything. <laughs> like here's a little spice. <laughs> exactly. Uh... Con- contour is it benevolent contour or whatever <laughs> make it yeah. look a little that's exactly what they've done they've just gone on photoshop and clicked all the buttons on the layer properties it's uh um, yeah, yeah so that came out in 2007 actually um and i don't think there was a fun up or anything that came after it but i thought like that was such a good game it was like it was it, it seemed like it'd be a visual novel but it's like you did a lot of investigation mm. and it was really annoying <laughs> hmm. yeah hmm um i think I, there was a suggestion in chat further up um for legend of dragoon which was a sort of one-off ps1 jrpg which um i still haven't played and i am desperate to play that game so i really really want them to do a remake or a sequel or something mm. and they haven't yet not yet the game i was trying to think of was um destiny and it was like do i want them to have there you go yeah mm. oh it was like a gun yeah, the, um, Destiny, I was like, do I, I think I just wanted Destiny to kind of just stick as one game and then like build extra things onto it and have like a hub because the moment it's like Destiny 2 and people are still like, do we, is it going to become Destiny 3? Is it going to be a sequel? Are they just going to keep adding uh, mm. expansions on there? Is it going to become mm. Destiny 2 is then like the base game? But that's just kind of weird. Why would the main game that they just keep adding stuff to be Destiny 2? We're not just like renamed Destiny. It's weird and confusing. <laughs> <laughs> that's actually true though i don't because destiny 2 is like i don't well i don't know yeah it's one of those ones where i'm like it could have just built built up on it from what it is however i jumped in on destiny 2 and i didn't feel like i missed anything beforehand yeah there's, there's nothing to miss no yeah. there's, there's no story i mean the new <laughs> the new expansion is really good um it's really really oh, good the, the, witch, the witch queen thing yeah it's really good but um yeah, still 
just doesn't make any sense. No. <laughs> Nobody plays Destiny for the story. Unless you're one of those real nerds. Because, I mean, yeah, there's like, before the Witch King, watch this three-hour video. And I'm like, no. I'm... I do like sometimes the lore until people start telling me the lore. And I'm like, okay, let's just go shoot. Well, yeah. <laughs> there's a Let guy. Me read the lore. Don't tell me the lore. <laughs> there's a guy called uh, Bife. My name is Bife. If anybody knows Destiny, they'll know him. Um, but yeah, if you go and watch his things, and he's so he, he talks like this, and he, oh. he's, he has like a little Latin phrase for his name. He's like, yeah, that is his, uh, yeah, for his YouTube thing. He's like, hi, my name is Biff, and then like has their name is Bife, and then has uh, like some kind of Latin phrase. I started to watch that three hour video. Yeah, I lasted about 30 minutes and thought, you know what? I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he is king, but he, he, anybody that has a YouTube channel with a phrase, with like a, cap, a tagline in Latin, just needs a slap. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't know. Yeah. <laughs> but he does know absolutely everything. But also, I checked out on Reddit and apparently he, a lot of the stuff that he says, some of it is like very much open to interpretation and he like presents it as fact okay all right so it's good and it's that's a bullshitter. one thing i despise about when people make comments and they make it as well but you know the thing is is that people want to learn so i guess it's useful for them but also anyway. mm. what did uh, what did they say in the discord ed because we're gonna have to wrap this up super soon yes. oh, yeah yeah let's, let's see uh mr millhill says i wish they'd make a sequel to prototype it was an insanely fun game uh with a good story which I think was like a superhero kind of game, and you could be good or evil. I think Prototype. that rings a bell. Yeah, Prototype I didn't play it. Me. Prototype game. Oh, I recognise that picture. They did uh, recognise the picture. Yeah, one. And oh two. yes, I do. One of my friends is named after it. So is Prototype Three cancelled? One of your friends is named after Prototype. Just a stream. <laughs> the stream oh, okay. I was about to say, well, okay. <laughs> Not like, <laughs> oh, look at our little baby prototype. <laughs> <laughs> that'd be a great name <laughs> oh my god that's a baby that i give wine to yeah <laughs> is there another on the way who knows <laughs> this is just the prototype <laughs> Amazing. Um, yeah Speaking yeah this is my child you... attempt one <laughs> 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 uh, speaking of JRPGs, Random Pasta says Vagrant Story at least deserved a sequel, if not a franchise. Um, I don't expect a Vagrant Story two at this point, but maybe a remake instead. That's another PS One JRPG I'm yet to play and really, really want to. Um, heard of that one actually? Yeah. yeah. Oh, also, another, then, doesn't really count as franchise, but doesn't need sequels. Just needs things <clears throat> adding to Jackbox. Just have a jet box and you oh, can then buy all the extra God. little things separately or whatever. Yeah. You don't yeah, need. Not, yeah. how it, well, no, no, it doesn't. You have to load up every. You have to be like, oh, crap. What game? What pack was that part of? And then load up that game. They're all separate games. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. Um, Random Pasta also agrees with us on FIFA. Um, they rarely change every year. I think they're deserving of being a one-off games with updates instead of new releases. Yeah. Pay, well, paid updates. Do it. You know. Uh, Taunt the Boss, I'm really hoping for more games following up Disco Elysium. The world is interesting and I feel like it could go all sorts of ways. I still need to play mm. that. Still need to play that. Um, uh, my friend Jake is big on Disco Elysium. We were talking yeah. about that the other day. It's got like a proper big like fan. Um, is that the words? No, what would I want to say? Kind of like fandom, fandom following? Yes, come on, words, man. You've got this. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> that needs to be your new intro. <laughs> words, man. Someone clip that. <laughs> oh. uh, Jip in the Void says, I'm thinking of Hades, perhaps evolving into an adventure game or RPG. That could be cool. Mm. I think if they change, I think that's one thing that's so good about Hades is what type of game <clears throat> it is. So maybe mm. changing it. I mean, any chance you know i would like to play as hades you know as an rpg and uh, adjust my clothes beachwear right, beach... we need beachwear and hades, beachwear and hades yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. i'm Flip actually flops. surprised there's not beachwear in there yeah why can you not change your clothes in hades that feels like an oversight well i guess they made such beautiful art that they wouldn't want to have to have that be at odds with your character just have art with clothes art without clothes Two models. I mean, a lot of the art doesn't have clothes, and I'm yeah. fine with that. I'm thinking Dead by Daylight vibes, you know, like, because they do quite a lot of erotic things, especially with that K Daddy guy. So, like, you have like different things that you can put on there. 
and I think each time they get him more and more naked so there should be an option of that and like every time someone like gets beaten then they lose more and more of their clothes that, that hasn't actually happened yet but in my head it has that was my that was my favorite thing in uh, Prince of Persia the Sands of Time as you play through <laughs> that game he just ripped bits of his clothes off and then oh, like by the end you're like topless really nice we're pure aren't we <laughs> Very, very pure. <laughs> pure Phil. <laughs> I kind of want you to be on like front page just doing this. This be a regular thing that you do. Yeah. I need more people to see just how great you lot are. Oh. Honestly. Well, if you oh, join, hey, if we ever get, if we ever, if this podcast for some strange reason ever ends up on the front page, you better be joining us. <laughs> <laughs> um, I literally don't want the evidence floating around. <laughs> I'll be sitting there like, oh. Oh my god, this is gonna. This is great. This is the last time we've seen them on this platform. We had, pleasant, we had pleasantly twisted on last week, and I don't remember it being filthy. What? What? Yeah, was it filthy? I think we're always filthy a little bit. Yeah. Yes. All right. Tell me, chat, where they like behave. Uh, Are you not bringing up dirty penis for me? Yeah. You bringing me <laughs> wow, out? Wow, I would dirty never do that, Cassie. No. Someone, <laughs> tell me the truth. Yeah. Yeah, Ooh. they were. <gasps> You were bringing me used a penis. I, I, we, I <laughs> maybe, oh my god, maybe it's yeah, not like us. It, it's maybe it's not us. <laughs> <laughs> we like dirty penis. <laughs> oh, uh, no more comments in Discord. So maybe this is a point to end. <laughs> well, so let's okay. <clears throat> wrap things up because this is the longest <laughs> podcast we've ever recorded. Um, god, it's 20 to 11. I know. <laughs> It's to oh, and we've talked. We all... just kept talking as well. We really yeah. need to stop. Okay, yeah. next right. time, IRL yes. drinks. Yes. everyone's invited. And we, okay. yeah, and I'm we down. won't stream it, so we can be as be ourselves. We could exactly. Yeah, this is this is us behaving. Yeah. I know. <laughs> Technically, we are behaving, aren't we? Yeah, I mean, I don't think we've said anything that will get me banned on Twitch. <laughs> no, saving Touch that wood. for later. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Except right. for when you promoted that Elden Cock ring. <laughs> yeah, I'm sponsored by them. <laughs> yeah. Go take a clip and just show them and be like, here, invest. Okay, no, all right. Okay, yeah. I see what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Cassie, thank you so much for joining yes. us. Where can we find you? On the streets. No, I'm kidding. Um, <laughs> I. <laughs> If you'd like to report me, um, <laughs> you spell my name E B O N I X. E B O N I X. However, if you have money for me, um, I'm Geeky Cassie literally everywhere. <laughs> um, okay. Oh. I don't know where else to do. Oh, yeah. Also, I'm doing events now. So hopefully, I'll have like some new events. <laughs> I don't know how I come back from that. Okay. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> Amazing. Go and follow Geeky Cassie. I okay. mean, if you've been here for this, I imagine you already have followed her because this is just... Uh, I like this two, hour, two and a half hours, this podcast. This has been going for two hours, 36. Wow. Yeah. I really enjoyed it, though. Did you us. enjoy me? Go and... Of uh, course. Yes. Of course. Of okay. course. I mean, I wouldn't chit sit shit i wouldn't sit here chatting for uh two and a half hours sat there shitting. <laughs> no, to be honest, no I, so i i, I went before that. i got a praise king so i just needed the um the compliments yeah thing. okay amazing amazing <laughs> Ed, go where do follow we... cassie go follow black twitch as well yes Yay. and okay. ed where do we find you you can find me at ed underscore knights with an n on twitch and on twitter and you can see my writing on eurogamer and do are you, have you got anything exciting lined up maybe oh. can you tell us on there no oh. <laughs> when are you going to tell us never you'll have to find out never never okay okay <laughs> discover got, it for yourselves i've got something actually i forgot to say i just have to plug it real quick sure. okay so i have a new events company it's called nox limina you should go check it out and i have my first like tournament thing coming up and it's in insomnia in birmingham so if you'd like to like come through to that and then i'm going to be doing like fun events but like they're not events for dickheads or like to be really loud or like whatever they're just like nice things like this so you don't feel like you're at some industry like arsehole thing where everyone's just wanking each other off so yeah wait wait, wait, where are these so it's not going to be that 
no i said like not the good one can eat each other off if you know what i mean i will be throwing sex parties everyone i have right. heard it here first okay sex not guaranteed people not guaranteed bring your money okay thank you amazing amazing uh, when where can we find you uh, you can find me yeah uh, and I'm back streaming now. Now I've got, uh, you know, now yeah, things yeah. work. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Biggest Benners. And you can find more information on splitscreen.com if you want to listen to any of our previous shows. So thank you very much. Now Ed does his little spiel at the end. He does his little catchphrase. Bless him. Go on, oh, Ed. Lovely. Thank you all very much for listening. We'll see you next week. Be there or be split. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> take me off please <laughs> Do, remove okay. me from this <laughs> disconnect me <laughs> disconnect. wait where is it there we go be right back abort, abort. 